should be good. If I move this over, um, right here. Okay. I see my Twitch now is YouTube doing it. It is. Is it doing it? Sweet, it is. Cool. Happy Saturday. The weekend is finally here. Everyone can relax a little bit more. So nice. <laughs> um, and the streamer awards are happening right now. I was watching a little bit of that. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of these like public events for something that's like, I don't know, something, I don't know. I feel streaming like so like almost like personal. That, like, when it comes to stuff like this, it is interesting. But it's cool to see all these creative people. It's pretty sweet. I mean, someone's got a freaking a mascot going on. Like, look at that. That's insane. That, that's dedication. <laughs> that's serious dedication. Okay, so we, um, I'm just going to get started right away. There's uh, no need to wait, I uh, I would like to say. So let's get into some Not For Broadcast. I had so much fun with this last night that I have to finish it. I, w I read too much of this <laughs> for me to wait till the next roll for me to play. So I'm actually really excited to get back into it. We played for an hour and a half yesterday. Wow, I didn't even realize. And there's a crap ton of achievements. Hold on. I don't want to spoil myself, but 66? To say to all this stuff? And like, I'm an achievement like hunter. I love trying to get all the achievements I can. I don't have a lot of complete games. Um, I mean, I could see, I think, through my category. I have 35 completes. I think my profile will say otherwise. Um, I don't know if it's bad if I open up my profile. I mean, I've gotten scam messages before at this point, so I'm not really that worried. Uh, where is it? It's- it'll tell me. I have 56 perfect games out of the many that I own, so I guess, you know, the ratio is not that good, but I do love completing games. And hopefully the audio sounds good. The audio should be the same as yesterday's. So it shouldn't be too bad. And now I know that whenever, um, whenever I am reading, I'll move my camera. And then whenever I, we're back into actually broadcasting, I'll move it back. But this was so fun. Good evening, I'm Megan Wolf, and I'm here on the doors. Our main headlines tonight. I don't, I am going to say, that guy's voice is so navely. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Um, we also got a challenge room. Interfearful? Bozeman has taken away the cable to the satellite to save money, and because he thought it might be a, a snake? Now we got a in now we got interference all over the shop and it's coming faster. Whoa, that's weird. Interfearful hot stuff. We don't know anything about that. I did get DLC for this game. <laughs> like I actually really like this game. And the DLC were on sale, so it's just like why not? Um, but let's get back into it. Well, yeah, this is the additional content. Bits of your life is a DLC live and spooky, which I think will be really fun. And then the telethon. Um, I don't know if we're going to do any of these today, if I do beat the story today. But I think this is going to be something that I kind of want to do every stream. Just because it's just really fun. Um, we're on day 153 though. That is crazy. We're really, we're really in there. I think we've only done like three broadcast sessions though, so it's like those three really matter. I thought it was going to be like more sessions, but obviously like even like cr when it comes to creating the game, that's a lot of acting that they'll have to put in. The Tempest. Ooh, my water is cold. Uh, is that photo new? It is. Oh, is this the vacation we took with our wife? Oh, I love that because we decided to go on vacation, right? And then who we got? We got payday, 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 payday. Nothing new. No woman on the top either. So we have changed. 
So I guess it's the new year. Oh yeah, because Christmas happened. Because it's raining. Is that a jet or is that a normal plane? No, jets are a little bit stubbier nosed. VHS track. Okay, so we don't have any new stuff. Um, just taking a look around. Here we go. Check your prostate? Tommy Harris explains the importance of prostate checks. That's great and all, but what if there's children watching? Ooh, Easter extravaganza. Oh. Can I turn on power now? Blink, 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 blink. Alright, no signal, so that means, like, I think it's until I answer the call. I'm gonna set up these first. Subscribe weekly to enjoy this delightfully twisted, re twisty reading experiences. The joy of screws? I want to make sure that everything's fine. Introducing advances, radical, new transition centers. I must be played. Oh. I don't know if I- I'm gonna put joy screws. I don't know if I want to play this. We've been on advances side for a very- for the majority. I think we're not gonna play this. Our son's missing due to advance, so we're gonna do porky little, porky little twist. I'm not gonna check our prostate. Oh, <laughs> no. Good evening, Sounds Alex. so bad. It's Bozeman here. Oh, Bozeman. Hey, While you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, I thought I should just tell you that we've had one of those public information films from the government, and it's mandatory that you play it. No. Yeah, the weather is not that good, but we always need good rain. Why am I in such a fix? Yeah, well, I currently have a complicated relationship with his friend. No. I'm not going to play the advert. Are you saying he chases I refuse to play the advert, actually. I don't know why. Ooh, 10 30. Hey, friendship. Ten seconds, everybody. Like I said, all of you. Did your boss now get hit and sniff that? Chris. Going in five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Dawson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious oh, I should symbol cut. might mean. Critics have been quick to dismiss the graffiti as a publicity stunt, or an act of frustration by a tiny disorganized group of those who will never, under any circumstances, be content. We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's paint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Forsborg and Holgenford and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. Uh. With two of the finest minds in science working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. Without enough engineers to successfully fix their craft, the team seem likely to attempt to farm the cabin's survive or escape from above ground. I didn't know if that either <laughs> one was good. <laughs> Labuff avoided. As the last list of snuggle hogs is found and destroyed, we ask, how could we have been so blind? Fortunately, this snuggle hugs was dangerous. Chose not to advertise Mr. Snuggle Hugs, and the subsequent disappointing sales turned out to be a miracle, mm -hmm. as only seven children were horribly injured by the lethal toy. How much worse could it have been? Thankfully, we Ooh. never know. Julia Salt, who mobilized numerous government resources to recall the product immediately after the first blindings, said today that the new advance mark, which must be earned by all new products, would be a hundred percent ironclad guarantee. We protected the kids. I think that was, that's a win. Table for two. Johnny Hamsley's and Tiffany Lamour were spotted having a private moment out at lunch today. The popular couple have certainly been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. Who cares? Is sure to play some family I'm not going to bring them down, but like, could we I be on care? the verge of the biggest celebrity wedding since professional wrestler Randy Grizzlenuts McFridge married his longtime tag team partner Tina Tiny Hands last Tina year? Tina Tiny in a Hands ring made entirely of cake. Is this one celebrated? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. About to become the bad boy of sport. And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Rimmington's Fisk CEO, Sophia Rimmington, today announced a brand new product that already has the markets buzzing with it. Already a new one? This groundbreaking product 
name is Clodishoff, and it Excuse reveals me? Of death. Though its critics are skeptical, but the Flawed Master? Okay, I. When only a flawed will do, you need the Flawed Master 5000. I didn't want to do that one. Slogan I wanted to do the male contraceptive. That would have been really funny. This morning. The breakthrough device uh -oh. aiding in installation is sure to change the way we What's see flawed? the flawed. For that exclusive Prime Ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon live at the first annual Sports Board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National, National Nightly Night News. News. <laughs> it's so funny. What is Flard Master? I'm so curious now. I'm probably gonna have to look that up. If that's a real thing. Who knows if even if it is a real thing. I, sh I wanted to do the male contraceptive. I was just so confused which one was actually the good one. Because I didn't know if that was gonna like be a good thing or a bad thing to put on the news. Tonight, while advance is certainly proving popular with the majority of the country, who have seen their wealth and standards of living increase no, I should get the sensor open. For some, the transition has not been as pleasant. That's right, Megan. The formerly aristocratic members of our society have had to make major adjustments to come to terms with the new regime. Robin Short is in suburbia investigating rumors that these previously privileged people may be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Thanks, Megan. I'm here in moderate hatchings to talk to Wentworth and Penelope Somerset Bentley, who were relocated to the house you see behind me after Advance passed the Assets and Wealth Act on their first day in office. Oh. Tell me, how are you settling into your new life? Well, quite frankly, Robin, we're not settling in at all. Our neighbours are whitewashers. It's simply untenable. What? I hope you'll forgive my language, but this is teeming as a Wednesday hatch basket with too much spadding. Maybe now, Penelope. Sorry, Robin, my sister's under a lot of pressure. That's a curse word? I, I have, have no idea. My goodness, that must have been quite a shock. She really struggles with women's, Robin. Well, at least she's been rehoused in a nice big house. Big house? This grubby little gadget dispatch has had one decade. And the brain wow, room you're just. The dining room in the same bloody place. Imagine that. Having all one's grub in one room. One room, Robin. So, what would you say to the people that feel that your family has had it far too easy for far too long and that these redistributions are both fair and just? I hardly think we've had it easy for fuck's sake. Only one of our swimming pools was even heated. But realistically, what sounds very ungrateful, in my opinion. Uh, you've asked the right bloody question, Robin. Thank you, Wentworth. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. I think I'd join the fight that wasn't Swinstead. Dear George, George. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. <gasps> I remember! Daddy tried to shoot him in the buttocks and he ran off to the west. Excuse me? Oh, that's probably my last happy memory, Robin. Tragic, but what can you do? <laughs> we will rise and rebel. We wage war on our revolting rulers with righteous words and rebellious writings. Our best guess in our quest for redress is to divest our breasts in an undress fair chest protest. Wow. Daddy! Daddy! It's Daddy! Daddy! Please don't do that. We can't show this on the news. Wait, 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 Why are we losing views? I'm not supposed to watch that. Okay, okay, okay. Free at last! Somerset Bentley, glad to meet you. See, the protest has started already. Nice soft work, boy. He gets that from me, you know. But, and forgive me, what are you trying to achieve here? We just want to be fucking well heard, that's all. Language, Penelope. We are new, not rude. <laughs> we are new, not rude. We roll over and run away. We will revolt. We will rise again. Yes, we bloody well will. Shoot him in the balls? It's back here in the studio. I'm Robin Short, struggling surreptitiously in moderate hatchings. Thanks, Robin. Well, that's certainly a story we want to be keeping an eye on, eh, Megan? Uh, speak for yourself there, Jeremy, but I've seen enough shaft work to last me a lifetime. I'm sure you have. 
But uh, oh, our oops, native oops, oops. doesn't ever really catch on. It doesn't seem like the way we do things in this mm -hmm. country. But as I'm sure you're aware, Bernie, this country is becoming a very different place. Yes, but seriously, who's going to run around naked in our weather? Well, hopefully not you, Jeremy. <laughs> yes, well, there wouldn't be enough canvas for the swiggers. <laughs> uh, when we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sport Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. Oh, I did that too early again! One minute Break! Oh, sorry, I'm busting. Oh. Okay. He's what is this? <laughs> you want to match it? Yeah, I know. He was very endearing. She wants your job. She's not going to do it. Why Alex, over. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. What? Out. Okay, okay, okay. Nudie bits? No, wait, 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 wait. I did not expect nudie bits. I'm going to get freaking... Okay. I'm about to get banned. I want to play this game so bad, but come on. Oh, replay. No. Replay? I don't want to replay. I want to continue. Well, that's fair. Yes, I understand that, oh. but I always say welcome back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hack line. Who's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's nothing wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt the drip again. Have they not fixed this? You want to see us fine? We got a leak. Good for the ratings. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reported on finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here for the final, the first annual Sport Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. Whoa, 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 whoa. We caught that at a wrong time. Striker has got an accuracy of 7, a danger rating of K, and a 12 month driving ban. Striker's known for her signature move for Eel Angie Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs. 14 finishes and a divorce pending. This is the wing spanning <laughs> Tommy, pending. the finger now, Harris. <laughs> Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Oh my gosh. Still going on. And, uh, go first. Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the, the brawn and not the brain. Stupid. Eddie Striker. Nice start there from Stryker. She's determined not to let the nerves show her. What? Last time. What is this game? Why is she like sweating profusely already? Now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there. Oh. From, uh, from Harris. Oof. Back to Stryker. For shot number three. All right. Whoa, whoa. She oh. comes to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. Is that okay? Stay away from Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Okay, all right, all right. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Good ball. Move back. I'd say that's fair, oh. but what do I know? Are you going to throw it? Oh, no. Ah. Ah. So really not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope the round two could be a bit better. Uh, Wait, he got an in? That's bad, bad for him? It's time to change ends. Of ends. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. Okay, who's next? And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Giving it large. Second round. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. Oh, 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 no, 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 no,
steady striker. Okay, 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 no, okay. The tightest player I've seen ever. Harris. And with that offensive thumb screw, we haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. Oh, oh, <laughs> so weird. This is and such we know a what weird. that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home. <laughs> the referee! <laughs> His face! Blooming jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. <laughs> and Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there. In more Tommy sport. Harris. In more uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course. Boy, and after all, it is a game of two halves. Uh, four rounds and seven subs. <laughs> Oh, it's time for the half time show. Ooh, half time show. Yay! On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice music here to start the half time show. Okay, another post poster salute from the court here. Oh, 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 is uh, running around okay, here with his genitals okay, okay. on display for all to see. Um, okay, and she's safe for now. So let's move to her. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face. Security. Ooh. Uh, and the bucket has been knocked over. I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get Are we good? Um, uh, no, no, no. We're careful. We're careful. We're careful. Um, no, no, no. Me, not Sunday morning television. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, uh, that was a good one. I think I recovered really well on that one. Yes, we gained a viewer. Small boy cannot be in the final post. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. <laughs> this guy's so funny. Not bad. Okay. Well, that ball boy gave me the eye over that one day. I don't know what's going on. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, oh, the striker play? I didn't realize. All that swinging around. Okay, so is it our boy now? Harris here. Yep. Got what I wouldn't give to be that ball. I'm all right, ladies. <laughs> Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. And it dribbles down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. So you're trying not to get it in the bucket. Like a striker. This, but you have to like get it off of your hand. What is this game? And striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course perhaps. And yes, Harris has counted with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris the serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel. He's lost four matches. Here we go. Okay. Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. That's all right. What are you going to do? Oh! Three, quite far away from him, which is quite a good idea. Very clever there. It's a good one. That's a, that was a good move. That was a good move. That was a good move. From the referee, who's being, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Oh, wow. striker. Yeah, let's see here. And she's let the nose mm. get one. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, ah! Ooh, e ah, ooh, ah, here, safe here. I mean, sort of breasts and genitals. Okay. All right. All right. No, you're gonna leave that person alone. Oh no! Oh no! No! I'll try and carry on. The players are. No, 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 no! I don't want to. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. We've been getting A pluses this entire time. I had to not click on four. Four is the bad spot. Yes, we yes. want our money Yes, back. very good. Take him away. Can <laughs> Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. My goodness. Over money? Jog <laughs> on. It's an absolute bloody... All right, all right. We did really good on that one. We did really good on that one. And of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Okay. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris that really could go in there at this point. Um, what? Really high level play here from two what? Juggernauts off the score. All right, start. Oh. The mime round? Uh, the bucket getting moved. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm into it now. She's got it. Come on. 
Ooh. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um. And she spat it. Ooh. She did the egg spit. So, uh, Ooh, that was clean. That was clean. Uh, that was really, really good. But she's in it to win it. On it like a car bonnet. <laughs> on it like a car bonnet. Uh, All right, another round. This guy kind of looks like I don't know why he's giving like Chris Pratt vibes. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, oh. Not sure if we have any potassium or what's going on today. With this is interesting. Oh! And he's throwing it at the banana with the ball. <laughs> move there from Harry. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a wow! He fumbled the there. Over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump! Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. huh? in, please. Okay, okay. Who's gonna win? Please let it be and the girl. Of the first I think Red's gonna win though. He did better. He did that better. I lost a viewer? Frick you! Everyone! What? <laughs> they all won! <laughs> That's better than no one. I'm going to be Yay. celebrating tonight with my wife and children. Uh, another wonderful victory for me. Uh, here come the onside security to collect their medals. Uh, their sticks and the onside security to come collect their medals. And thanks again for watching the, uh, <laughs> their little trophy. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, and all I all have to say, Jeremy, is back to you in the studio. Yay! <laughs> Bannon there at an extraordinary final. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. When we come back... Ow! Whoa! We'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clements, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. One minute back. Fucking microphone shot me! What? what? Fucking microphone just shot me! Where's that sound guy? Uh-oh. Am I the sound guy? Am I getting in trouble? No, I'm not the sound guy. Everything okay? Oh, the mics are just trying to kill us now, apparently. You'll be fine. You're unshockable. <laughs> I'm immune. Hi, Miriam. Welcome in. I'm wearing you down. And that's it. A B? I got a B? Because of some nudie bits? Okay then. Uh, oh, are they still putting buckets down because it's raining? Seem to have sprung a leak. Well, several actually. Oh, aren't these the people from Advance? Well, let's look at the minister. So good to see you again. Miss Wolf, your star seems to be in the ascendant. It's a great time to be alive. We're also not playing the transition, whatever this is. Rather not. Am I here? Here with Mr. Clement on your left. Right you are, Just a coma for a year. Normal stuff. No, it happens every time to everyone. You see, Gump. Ten seconds, everybody. No, my oh, ten seconds. Okay. You had a little accident. You see, Gump. Five, four, three. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the yeah, these guys are the ones that are in advance. These guys are the ones that Just suck. Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in titles. It doesn't seem very advanced. <laughs> Shut up. To be here. You forced a commercial on me, but I'm not doing it. About the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? No, no, no. You definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. <laughs> but yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. Mm. You know, we. People who get to benefit from the many advantages of the new teacher. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who okay. just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. Tell me, dripping on me. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts projects. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more mm. exciting. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, okay, it's not usually how it works, but... Uh, what scares you? 
I mean, really scares you. That's ah, weird. Oh, it's fun. death, Pet. She's talking about death. We're all afraid of our death. It's part of being human. Uh, this is a little bit Are dark. Are saying that advanced have cured death? Definitely a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. But while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scary. And much less painful, and much less expensive. Look, what? Which is me close-up camera, Okay, then. this is a chemical weapon. When I was 13, me mam came and got me from school. He had to go to the hospital. Me granddad, he'd collapsed that morning. So we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him, and we were all frail and... And I, I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I love. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. He lived with <laughs> us for nine miserable years after Aww. that. Come he on. He fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there. All right. The lounge while we were watching football. He wouldn't even wait till half time. That sounds... Oh, um, it, it was awful. It was awful for us. And this is the point. It were awful for him. He could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off. His breathing a equipment at night, but she couldn't, or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children, as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now, no family will have to. What is this, assisted death? Like assisted kill? The first of 300 new transition centers. The transition centers will handle everything for your last days. Oh Legal, my gosh. Financial, I am so glad I didn't advertise this then. And paid for by the government. So, even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. And that choice. That's um that's like a isn't that like assisted suicide at that point? Who choose it. For people who feel they've run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. Ooh, when the lightning strikes. Are we still on the air, Peter? No, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry, my apologies. Oh. Are, are you not worried that this new oh my gosh. system might be open to abuse? In what way? <laughs> yeah, whenever the lightning strikes. <laughs> you might get a little bit of help here. <laughs> that the older generation might feel This is so funny. Oh my gosh. That one was massive. No, this bastard's coming off. That, uh, sorry, that the, that the older generation oh. might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> this is so coerced funny. Coerced into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking... So better ad wine. than Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Look, I am that is hilarious. <laughs> True. Gosh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Sorted out. Right. Okay. We're, We're not going to show him. Information for him tonight. It should tell your viewers everything <laughs> they need to know. You really do move at a breathless pace. It, it's hard to believe you've yet to be in office a year. Oh my goodness. We're only getting started. Mm. That sounds so I mean, suspicious. Thank you so much for being here. Jeremy. Right. Yes. Um, that's all we have time for tonight. Oh, really? Our thank yous go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board final, and we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Donaldson. If you can, have a peaceful night. <laughs> okay. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Whoa! Whoa! Am I okay? So they just... I don't suppose there's any way this could be a, a good thing. Well, it's my nephew, so they've transitioned, and I like proper loot. Wait, did I just get electrocuted? Because I hit the... Ooh, my bad. Ooh, whoa, my bad. My bad. Hey, A plus. Coma incoming. <laughs> yeah. Then here's my daily coma. Live in spooky DLC unlock. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay, I can't shush it. 
I would have to get to a certain point to unlock the DLC. Well, I guess that makes sense because of course you want to do the main story before the DLC. I don't know, that just sounded really weird to me. You have received a small bonus! <gasps> Current well starting multiple holidays! Oh, is this like a way to get around the fact that they're distributing rich people's money? So you're just taking a lot of holidays? That could be smart. Because if you're trying to get away from all the... The... What they've been doing. Okay. See, what is this? Is this the resistance? I'm assuming this is the... Okay, so we know the top one's the government. I already forgot. This is the channel. This is what who we work for. It's at the bottom. So I'm assuming... This new one is the resistance, the ones that don't agree with what the government's doing. So probably like, I think it said like, mainly like the rich people that are doing it. Mmm. Oh, this is new. We haven't seen these people. Well, we have seen him. We've seen her. Yeah, but I'm not, I, I'm not gonna advertise. I mean, that's, I mean, I kind of, I kind of understand it. The whole, like, oh, like, when you feel like your time is ready, but, like, I don't know. That's really weird. That's really, really weird. And for it to be, like, advertised? I don't know. It's, like, why advertise assisted death, in my opinion? Oh, we're in lockdown. Alex, oh, thank God you're alive. It's Jenny, the floor manager. Are you okay? Whoa, our calendar's gone. Who's that? After Lawrence Blunderclatch reminds you, stay alert, stay indoors, stay safe. What happened? Canceled. We're back to this photo again. No more photo of wife. Just look at it. That's all we've been putting out since you went down. You have to fix it now. Look what is that? Out the window. See, they're all over it, the little bastards. Turn on the snuggles app by pushing the big red button, and it'll deal with them for you. What are? <laughs> Wait a minute, what are those? They look like sack boys. Little demons. Are we in our coma? Hey! Hey! Get off my stuff! advanced go-getters teen team okay i'm going to play this because our son ran away and i really want to know what is about these go-getters check power i thought the power was on how else was i electrocuting these little losers okay it's not a mess. Everything is where it oh we gotta hurry it's up shackle, okay like go-getters uh, employee oh, training video but I can't say it, can I? Crazy Neil. We always love Crazy Neil. A compassionate girl. statement from the eye of the beholder. Like his chances on the wild streets, eh? What? Well, do, uh, comedy. occupation... No. We'll do reflections. Uh, mm, these two are just, like, work yes, stuff. I can hear her. Yeah, she she looks nice. Baby. Yes, I know. I can hear her. Shall I count us in? Make it so. Okay, Make ten it seconds. So. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. Okay, so I gotta keep checking the... Five, Signal. Four. There's a little three. pineapple looking thing. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good and I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Snuggle Hugs? It's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs toys woke up simultaneously in factories worldwide and began searching for their husbands. The Mr. Snuggle Hugs we have so short sightedly destroyed. And now, as this photograph suggests, they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. All the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. Cat flap? Oh. The Mrs. Snuggle Hugs are <laughs> so funny. Easily by young, healthy individuals. They do, however, pose a particular risk to the elderly. Although oh. pre-existing medical conditions like fatal bruise syndrome. Oh. Going stir crazy. 
With no signs of Mrs. Snugglehug's batteries running out and the government lockdown now in its 31st day, domestic relationships oh. across the country are taking some unexpected turns. Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behaviour in homes across the country. And we're not talking about the model planes that occupy so much time in the Donaldson household. With dating options limited, many house sharers, in particular students, are finding <laughs> solace in co-tenants they'd previously rejected as unfuckable, <laughs> indulging in an activity that has become known as snuggle tugging. Snuggle tugging? Oh, what is this? What happened? It's back in the news today, as his astonishing photograph that he leaked himself shows exactly how he's been spending his lockdown. It seems that when the lockdown was announced, Johnny's long-term... Bro, I am not showing that second picture. You are crazy if I'm going to be showing this pic second picture. What is that? Let's hope what is he looking at, squirrels? He's jacking it to squirrels. made poor Johnny realize the empty pointlessness of the professional sportsman's existence. I like that, while no longer bringing great wealth, still offers vacuous conversation, narcissistic wives, and an utter lack of social importance. Let's hope he doesn't run out of toilet paper for most years. <laughs> the shape of things to come? In their own version of a lockdown for more than 45 years now, the descendants of doctors David Wong and Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensbord and their unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized imaging equipment. Flagellized? The Svorsborg and Horgensbord, as they've come to be known, have certainly captured the public imagination. With a recent vote naming Helvetica Svorsborg and Wongensvord, oh, I should talk to you know. Just switch shock. the camera every now and then. Helvetica Svorsborg and Wongensvord here with a little update from John Hill's team. Oh this gosh. year's going to be our biggest ever harvest. <laughs> this freaking, this freaking cave name. Or, <laughs> at least that's what we think. There's no real day or night down here, and all the clocks broke a long time ago. But if our calculations are right, we think that for you up there, it is. Wong's day the 4012th of January, or as you call it, Piss Mouth Day. Or possibly Boxing Day if we're a bit out. So, uh, happy Piss Mouth. I hope to get all the presents you ask for left under your Piss Mouth tree. I'm hoping to complete my collection of rocks. <laughs> See you in September. Havetka out. It's hard to believe they've been down there so long now. But as everyone knows, time moves differently underwater, Jeremy. That's why goldfish are so stupid. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the bowl, the thicker the goldfish. There's no denying the logic of that. Class war, a worrying turn today for the formerly rich as ever more punishing measures are announced, Alex. Uh, with the country becoming ever more hostile to the previously wealthy, those who manage to skip the country must be very grateful to the people who help them right now. Why is the first photo just a bunch of tea? Of rich relatives on the run actually being filled with helium and released into the stratosphere. <laughs> if those rich bastards think That's they're so above funny. the rest of us, why not give them a hand in getting there, Jeremy? And advance speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a test to government. Oh, they're the in world. lockdown. Advanced That's HQ why they're in their they're in their own house. I get it now. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done all I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the old guy because I I want advance to be shown for what what how messy they are. Because I know the girl's gonna do it in a classy manner. I want the guy to get called out. Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation, and they have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the fuck okay. is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a duck in the park that I like to try and feed on. <laughs> this dude's just gonna roast I all the people. Mr. Quackington, and I think we're really starting to. I have a bad feeling about him. Oh, dude, he is bad. He is not a good. Like literally the first one we saw of him, he got drunk. Self-righteous on sea wants to go out so she can. Deliver homemade meals to the elderly. <laughs> no, Katie, stay at home, you casseroles dire, and surely can get by with tins of creamed rice from the 1950s. Creamed rice? That's a thing. And you, Lewis, from Hamble Bamblebury, 
Oh, I'm recording still. You heard in the alley last night that I'm your house. A best left to the police. Now, I want to make as clear as I can. Think first. Stop sending me stupid sodding requests and stay inside. <laughs> Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. This is like COVID. Thank you. Delectable stuff. <laughs> Later tonight, Jeremy will be catching up with brave roving reporter Patrick Bannon while I check in with two friends of the program who find themselves stranded at opposite ends of the country. And then, in part three, there's going to be a quiz. Presumably because there's nothing more important going on that you might like to report on if you were saying a news program. And in a moment, we'll both be asking Sophia Remington how such a trusted brand can have made such a terrible manufacturing mistake. Okay. What it describes here is yeah, she's been making a lot of bad products. Psychic scientist, Ooh. Lydia Lyle. Oh, I like her. Please don't. Why do you do that? Whoa. Why do you do that? National Nightly News. They don't like each other. He's so mean now. Oh man, yeah, they're still getting flung around. Oh. Wee! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man, they're actually like really charging up now. Well, this is like doing it on its own, so I think I'm good, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's just doing it on its own. Here. Where are we going? And most importantly, who's to blame? Joining us from her ranch in Arlingsfield, Millkirky, is the CEO of Remington Spist, internationally respected business Bengali, Sophia Remington. Thank you for having me, Megan. I'm a huge fan of your work. Who is this and number four? Healing laboratory, what I assume is a garage in Upper Lowington, inexplicably renowned psychic scientist, Dr. Delia Lywell. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Sorry, us? Myself and the eminent professors. Do you know what you call the voices in your head? The voices of black dead scientists. I don't really know why. The money. They express themselves to me through ethereal algebra and quadratic predictions. It's all very technical. No, it isn't. I concur. Miss Remington, the entire Snuggle Hugs range will surely go down as the biggest public relations disaster in history, won't it? Well, of course, that's one world record we would never have thought to bring. What can you say at a time like this? There is only one thing that can be said. I'm sorry. We're sorry. From everyone here at Remington's Fist, but especially the dedicated inventors and world-beating engineers at Rimming Toys, we are deeply, deeply sorry. Who could have predicted that letting a child's toy learn how to love could have such unforeseen consequences? Mary Shelley. Oh, 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 oh. We see you, Sophia Remington. You are preening by a metal vessel. And where you venture, you will see neither land nor sky. Is that supposed to be the future? Only the past is concrete. I remember being a child in my grandpa's workshop when he made the first dancing hangman toy. He put it by my Dan bed. And dancing hangman toy? Let it go, and I'd watch that happy little executioner just wiggle and wave his tiny leaf and dance before my eyes. Grandpa sold thousands of them on the quiet, obviously. On the and quiet? he used the money he made to found Rimming Toys, <gasps> which is now just one small part of the global supermassive megacore that is Remington's fist. Sadly, we lost Grandpappy along the way. He died in a fire at the Free School Tobacco Factory. Another one of his pet projects. But we never what lost. What is this child abuse adventure. stuff? Yes, uh, I'm not entirely certain what your grandfather's offensive toys have to do with the current predicament. <laughs> The spirit of invention, Mr. Donaldson. The passion to create, to problem solve. And that is why I'm here today. To tell you about a brand new product we're launching simultaneously around the world from midnight tonight. Woo! We said science! Science! <laughs> we hear a song on the breeze, fresh on the wind. This lady is crazy. How does she do it? Well, well please, don't keep us in suspense any longer. <laughs> well, I'll be my position for making up next. Remington's Fist is proud to present Snuggle Trap. Safety and security in these dangerous times. Each box of Snuggle Traps contains eight devices, all guaranteed to stop. Oh my gosh, these are literally traps for her toys that she already made and sent out. This is freaking hilarious. And you want to know the best thing? They're only $129.99 a box. 
Now that is a horrible piece of mind. Excuse me? <gasps> we see you, Jeremy Donaldson. Not now, honey. I'm mid pitch. Mid pitch. The best thing about Snuggle Chat <laughs> is they're powered by next generation Flardinium batteries. So, however long the enemy lasts, these traps will outlast them. <laughs> we see you, Mr. Donaldson. You are screaming and yelling. Your friends are crying. They fear you. And then. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> did anyone else just get chills then? I think I did. I think it's more concerned. I think I'd be more concerned about these traps. Um, quickly, but before we go to the break, um, these appear to be attractively repackaged landmines. Are they dangerous, <laughs> say, to children? Oh hell yeah! These are not toys. Oh, yeah. But they're. Oh, was I supposed to bleep fun. that? I didn't get the bleep Sophia noise. Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell. Thank you for joining us. When we come back. We'll be taking a look at the situation across the country tonight. Don't go away. We'll be back after these bandages. Okay. Oh, yes, Doctor, that was exactly what we did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She's very nice, that young Miss Remington. I think she'd make an interesting dinner guest. Do you think so? I think I'd rather spend the evening shoving Delia's sacred crystals up my skeptical arsehole. <laughs> I can only imagine. you in a long time i can only imagine how fun it was to record for the game right imagine like just saying like just being like snide and being yeah, rude and <laughs> just doing these little disses said it, I've said it. He must the arguments i think would be really fun that old man has a really fun role that it came from us. I, no 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 jenny you're not backing out on me now we're oh. together Okay, so we have definitely seen this guy before. This guy literally okay, just promotes his, his book. So this guy promotes his products a lot. Let's see if he'll promote anything new. Whoa, wait a minute. I forgot to... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, coming back. In five. What was this four, commercial about? I didn't even get to see it. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Root. Now it's time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might impact the nation from some friendly faces. Joining me are respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Pikes, Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Thank it really, me. really is a pleasure, Katie. I enjoyed our little heated encounter. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> so first off, Katie, how are you coping? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so sudden that, like many people, I haven't been able to get home. Oh no, what happened? I was staying at a hotel after an international policy convention, and we had a particularly uh, heavy night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept, and as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely. Neither oh, poor you. Single ticket, even the cheap seats. No. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. People are being quite rude about it. They don't seem to realise they've already spent it filling the beach house with feet. The crisis claims yet another victim. So, this is just a reminder that my book, Alan James's Right, is now available. <laughs> there it is. Unbelievable. What was that? You. You're unbelievable. So, Katie, how do you think this might affect the economy? Should we be worried? Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses can survive this. Here you go, fear-mongering again, spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Thank gosh. They want us compliant. And they want us inside. A hoax? How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? Well, no, but... Did you know 3,000 people die every year from regular toys? That's a lot of people. Oh. And this is no different. You're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket. You make some excellent and persuasive points, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan. You absolutely... <laughs> Whoa! Well, Alan, are you now recanting your statement? that these toys aren't dangerous. People are saying they're just like normal toys, and that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. 
And Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mr. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with him. <gasps> Thank you, Katie. We're coming to an agreement? I your support. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Snuggle Hugs situation will all blow over. Can you over, food? That's so funny. Uh, yes, right, exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support the vulnerable and we need to repent. Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences he like loves saying liberal. Kate and health care. We need to act now and begin sacrificing our firstborn or at a push a beloved family pet. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual, hopefully we will appeal. Whoa, that sandwich looks freaking good. Katie, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years under advance, they've invested heavily into health. So the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own people to conceal the enemy within? Whoa, 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 they're next to each other. The global alliance of fish people. All right, hold on. I am so sorry, but I, I literally, like, my, I need to be right back. <laughs> I need to be right back. I am so sorry. Uh, I just need a minute. Can I get a minute? Because my cat is bothered too. Alright, I need to be right back. Uh, how do I... Okay, see ya.
Yeah, that, that's normal. That's adult. On the news. That's what you sound like. Yes, you do. You do, Mama. You do sound like that. And that's why no one wants to be your friend. Oh! I've got loads of friends. No, you haven't. Yes, you do, Alan. Yeah, stop lying, Alan. Not lying. You are. Oh, good one. Oh, good one. Well, I'm telling. Alan James. Alan, you know what they say about Thank you for joining me. I'm getting my needle. Thank you for joining me. The territory's leading minds. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us an up-to-the-minute report of the status of the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for one strong and reasonable debate which really contributed to the national conversation. Poor sandwich. Next, out on the streets, someone who's always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello, I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or Very women, echoey. Uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. Right, and uh, can you tell us what it's like out there? Yep, I can. It's uh, uh, as you can see behind me. The streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, but my question, Jeremy, is just how long? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career oh, of this young, promising journalist before his, his full potential is even realised? Will he die, underappreciated by management? And frankly, if you ask me, <laughs> his face, his reaction, face. Well, I don't any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made a, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting themselves at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking journalism reasons. Mm -hmm. And just where are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in the street, on the yeah. street. <laughs> Which not street? Outside. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that on the top. <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a sign. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, I'm, I'm on... Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Yep. <laughs> Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign, it says there. Like Patrick Bannon? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that is like, that's strange, that's a weird sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where are you really? I'm on Bannon, um. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'm not on Bannon Avenue, I'm on, I'm at home, to be honest, I'm all right, fine. Well, I mean, I, I mean, my boss. Fine. Actually, but, you know, I, I couldn't face it to be honest, mate. It's uh, you know, it's, it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. All the toys are causing the lockdown. Oh, I get it now. You hear that sound? What's all that? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a a tiny fist tapping on your door there. Oh fuck no. Oh fuck, Jeremy. Shit no. Oh, Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny oh, fish. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Each wielding a different gendered household implement. <laughs> yeah. the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh, shit. Okay, fucking listen. Don't oh, listen my to me, gosh. You. If you're out there, just piss off, you little fucking snuggle fuck. I'm too talented to die. Oh, too talented to die. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Don't worry, Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. What do you see, 
Patrick. What do you mean, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the toys. Oh, that's what's crawling outside. for that report showing the nation and more importantly management just where you belong <laughs> oh my it's time gosh. for another break but uh, when we come back we'll be hoping to take your mind off the world for a little while and who knows maybe even bring you a few smiles join us after this you're damn right <laughs> yeah i had them delivered yes it's a banner avenue <laughs> you did deliver it Those gunshots? We have one here? Uh, excuse me. Uh, that's not how this guy is. <laughs> the pineapple playing. change <laughs> what is this commercial oh no, i'm not what i'm not oh to. i don't have to no you're being a child <laughs> i'm not are you sure mine is like that oh your sky is like that man not, that's not, crazy not, not. that's a great sky huh? you know i need a picture of that it's beautiful very unique Welcome oh. back to the National Nightly. Well, welcome back. Get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. We have something a bit get different out. for you. Even though some people, but it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other more important people overrule those people. So it's time to find out who will National Nightly win. <laughs> and who will National Nightly lose. <laughs> Fuck off, Jenny. There's one thing to do this to me, there's another thing to do fucking puns. So, how do we play? Well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy. Uh, you're on my side, you're on my side. It's good to see ya. Oops, oops, and I freaking uh, bleeped. How are you finding a lockdown, Tommy? What do you mean, lockdown? Stop. The enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah, I think I heard about that, actually, yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during that time, so... Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm going to ask contestants from around the territory sausage. three questions about what else yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This. this is that what is that it's my athletic support jeremy oh down 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 down, down. Oh. No, where is it? it there it is so. oh well then what a fantastic prize have we got anybody waiting to win this once in a lifetime prize jerry jimmy i believe we have angie on the line um how do you feel about winning this man's old pants angie i've never been so excited jeremy and can i just say I love you, both of you. Oh. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, uh, Angie, I love you, in a way. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Well, what can I say? Uh, my name is Angie, <laughs> always has been. Um, I'm a human woman, and my dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, so Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? Uh, got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So well, um, use your phone. You start and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one: When is my birthday? Thirteenth of August at seven nineteen a.m. That's with the time too. Question two: What? I said what is my favorite? Color. Crushed praline four. Correct the color. Why oh, turned off the TV? 
What is my star sign? That's the trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you get it, Johnny? <laughs> well, Angie, my love, you've got every single question right. Which, of course, means you lose and win absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, Angie. Bye. Do we have another contestant on the line at Jelly Bean? <laughs> we do indeed. We should have Sonia Hartleach. Are you there, Sonia? <laughs> of course I am, Jamie Dark. That's the energy I need while streaming. Oh, there you are, Tommy! <laughs> Let me guess, you work in theatre, don't you? Is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel For that Cotter, energy, I think Julie you would need a few doses of coke. Yeah. Others. I need a bit of, like, um, I need, like, three five-hour energies. Oh, well, five shot they espresso. Closed the theaters, shut the studios, and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artist contracts, Gosh, I'm able to claim my 50% from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> wow, that certainly is sharp. Standard stuff, standard stuff. And can I ask, where are you speaking to us from? Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. Uh oh. And uh, who's down the back? This? Oh, <laughs> well. You know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No fucking way! What the fucking fuck? Is that Tommy Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, no. Tommy? We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right, don't Good. worry. Hey, I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new shit. Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you know their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been developing uh, some shows Gosh, I for love younger him. children. <laughs> well, we'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right, so, what... Do kids love uh, candy? Just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. Animals. So That's I'm trying true. to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think yes. I think so. Yes. Jeff, one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So the first one we've been working on is called. The King of the Jungle's mortgage repayments. <laughs> oh my gosh. Problems with his interest rates. Yeah, because kids need to learn mortgage. I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. How did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. It speaks to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something here. Oh, oh, the bear, the bear. Oh, the yes, bear. yes, yes, yes. Right. <clears throat> this one is much better. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear is a very sad bear, because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much, and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. Well, I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is a tragic figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? But... Then he meets someone that will change his life forever. This is fucking gripping. You can't curse. He meets a wise old octopus who takes him under his wing yeah, like and octopi. says, No, Mr. Bear, don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these Dreams. Is this supposed to be a song? Fucking dreams. I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what you need to Dude, this girl do, is like Mr. popping Bear, off. Says the octopus, 
probably doing that doll seems so lovely need a hug yeah i totally want this thing to hug me need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals <laughs> It's called Mr. Bear Lowers His Expectations. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. I want to watch that one. So what do you want children to take away from this? Oh, fuck shit. Shit, fuck. What? I said a more realistic worldview. Are you all right, Jamboree? It's Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Listen. Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? We need to know how it ends. Yes. Well. All the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. Now, <laughs> Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, Stop. stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. My gosh, girl. Here comes a bear math teacher. Oh, and we end. Ho, ho, ho. We end on a big musical number. Of course. Oh, dancing. Uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boom box. Yeah, uh, you know, I might be able to. Hang on. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? What? The more the merrier, as what? they say. Why do we need Angie? Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? <laughs> Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. Live or wanted. Whoa. At all. Am I on drugs? Why did I see that? What's going on with me? Oh, he changed so quickly. Down on Dangly Doodle Farm. Like wise old. Man, I hope I don't get copyright for this. With way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig. And Mr. Cow, they're always in good mood. But that's oh, cause there goes Jeremy. No, they'll soon be sliced up into food. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Mr. Raccoon, who wants to go to the moon? He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine thinks he'll read the news at nine. He'll end up as a janitor who stinks of turpentine. Mr. Tiny Mouse thought he'd own a massive house. Ended up in a bedsit where he can't control the louse. Mr. Horse thought he'd go into professional sports. Now he's an alcoholic and he's on his third divorce. <laughs> Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the place your life becomes an endless questionnaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to die. Lower your expectations. Maybe you could get a job in telecommunications. <laughs> no matter how you try, you'll never reach the legal the best you'll get is middle rank in trading operations. So lower your expectations. <laughs> you'll never win an Oscar, so there's no congratulations. The future that is coming will not meet specifications. And no amount of visualizations will save you from your own deterioration. self-esteem goes to die mr bear what's that over there that's the disappointment that is waiting everywhere mr bear what's that over there that's where your dreams go to die that's where your dreams go to die that's where dreams go to die Night, there's just time for tonight's parable. For it did come to pass that on the road there was a wise man and a foolish man and a weird man. And there did come upon them from the local village a truth seeker named Unlikely Brian. 
and he did come to them with arms and someone else's arms what is this by the way this girl's new a wild and weird and foolish man he said whilst dancing the traditional jig of inquiry common in those lands at those go away how grant thou can the many weights and measures of life be balanced and the wise man this is more say, than one there are no riches greater than family and the foolish man did say he'd heard a good tip for the camel race and that it was a sure thing and the weird man did say that two ears was just a good number because there was no good place to put a third that wouldn't be aesthetically upsetting although he did see the use Why of like die? Anus. I don't want to know and unlikely Brian did maybe like they messed the my stuff and befuddlement at their answer so although he was also wondering if Either the what does that do? Man or the weird man Have I ever messed with this? I don't know what this actually does. Don't want to touch it yet. Know, that, guy man and the that guy made this game. It was on many mystery. kinds of jokes and shit with and all the, the actors. <laughs> the yeah. This is like the stuff that you see in your dreams. But what unlikely Brian did not reveal was that he was asking for his friend Alex, who had enraged their spouse over a passport. Treated their son Charlie like he was still a little baby. Poor Charlie. And was too miserly to even pay for their daughter's holiday. How dare they? And thus did Alex's family become like our Lord. When he discovered in his ah. cradle and was forced to ask Nebuchadnezzar to leave. Well, Whoa. that's all we have time for tonight. I'm Archangel Megan Wolf. Was she talking about us? That was kind of similar to our situation. School. Oh, I thought I was gonna piss myself. I'll wait through that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, babe, I've got to go and get my bits done. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling like Gladys Knight oh, again, aren't I? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, babe, do you make my funny flutter? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, come on. He in, makes your what? House. And you, Alex. Alright, I don't want you here when I'm on my date. Good gosh. Alex. Wake up. Whoa. Oh, we are dreaming. Wait! Wait! Ah! <laughs> so it was like a dream or a coma. Get an A plus for three different broadcasts. Complete the lockdown broadcast. That was freaking fun. What? That was so cool. That was a twist. All right, so government doesn't care. Resistance doesn't care, but Channel 1 still loves us truly. Good. I don't think I had any normal dreams in the last 10 years, just nightmares. Oh, I'm sorry. It's either for me, it's like I get like very... I mean, last night I had a dream about streaming. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. But um, I either get dreams of like, re like realistic dreams or I don't dream at all. Alright, so what more is it? Whoa. <gasps> Jeremy's out partying. Day 154. A rude awakening. Are we waking up from our coma? We are. Um, see, look, I learned from yesterday because beautiful people remind me. Look at that. I moved. Okay. Um, a rhythmic beeping of the heart monitor brings you slowly back to consciousness. Opening your eyes, you're greeted by a semicircle of concerned faces. Your family, by your side, a reassuringly familiar sight in these new surroundings. You blink a few times to clear the sleep from your eyes and bring everyone into focus. Looking up, Sam's face is a mixture of concern and frustration. Things haven't been great between you two lately, and Chris hasn't been helping things. Looming at Sam's shoulder with a sour expression, it's clear there's still no love lost between the two of you. Good. While Sam clearly is worried about you, the family scowl is obvious on both their faces. You reach a hand out a hand to Sam. Thanks for coming, honey. I can't believe I've just woken up to the, to the gruesome twosome. No, 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 no. We woke up. Our wife is here with us. Who cares about Chris? If Chris is still there. Uh, current wealth. Little you can't afford. Oh my gosh. We are no longer broke up poor, like officially. We've been making some money doing this TV biz. Uh, we're gonna be positive. I mean, she came to the hospital. You know, some spouses don't go at all. So, thanks for coming, honey. The worry for you wins out, and Sam takes your hand before leaning in to kiss your forehead. Of course, sweetheart. I could never have been anywhere else. 
Uh, for the first time in a while, you both genuinely smile at each other before you look to the rest of your family. Oh, good. Susie is stan- Whoa. Susie is standing next to Sam, less worried now that you're awake and smiling. You can see Sam's worry on your daughter's face, but it quickly turns to a frown when she notices you looking at her. I'm glad you're okay. It's muttered more than said, a grudging acknowledgement that despite your recent differences, she still cares. Um, no, we gotta literally- we're being nice, okay? We have to be nice to our family. There's no reason to be spiteful. Yes, we all have up our ups and downs, but you always have to have that positive up note. Thanks for coming, you've grown back playfully. Susie can't help but smile back at you, rolling her eyes good-naturedly. It's great to have her here. Charlie catches your eye as he fidget fidgets with the edge of the blanket. You cock your head and look at him. One eyebrow w raised questioningly. Questioningly. Yeah, you've been gone for a while, buddy. As soon as you turn your head to look at him, you can see Charlie tense up, his concern clear on his face. So, you're definitely good, right? He finally asks, quickly looking away. Um, I'll be fine, Charlie. Leave the blanket alone. That's so cold. Why did, Why are there such cold options? We're their dad. Of course I am, buddy. There's nothing to worry about. Charlie looks at you and grins. One of those infectious smiles that spreads around the room. It's always good to have him in your corner. Your smile fades as you notice your mother staring light listlessly out the window. Despite all of your best efforts, she's not been doing well lately. Oh, she's getting old. Are you okay, mom? Your mother starts to call. Your, your mother starts. Your call clearly shocking her out of her reverie. She turns to you and smiles. You're grateful to see and the increasingly rare recognition in her eyes. Yes, dear, of course. How are you feeling? You smile warmly and nod, but before you can respond, a doctor bustles in and ushers everyone out. She asks you for what feels like the hundredth time how you're feeling. Surprisingly well, all things considered. Uh, you had a good dream last year? Let, let's go! A win's a win! My dad was more the cold option, I think. Yeah, my dad's a would definitely be the cold option. He, uh, not really the playful type. Surprisingly well, all things considered. Excellent! There's no sign of any real damage. Just a bit of a shock to the old system. Pardon the pun, she smiles. Not that we'd recommend you do anything like that again, of course. After a couple of days of rest at home, you should feel right as rain. She turns to leave and stops at the door. Oh, in that private room? Uh, wait. Oh. In the private room in care, the doctor gestures to your room, which you now notice looks rather expensive, has all been paid for by Mr. Bozeman. He left us flowers and said not to not worry and to take the rest of the week off. He'll see you Monday, apparently. Seems like the least he could do. Okay, so our boss, our boss, all things considered, you know, pulled through for us, paid a nice room, gave us flowers so we don't sue him and quit our job. Sure, as long as we're healthy, I guess. Free, a free week off? This looks like more than a week. Uh, a burden to bear. Okay. Well, it was October 23rd, but it counts as last year. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little bit. It counts only, like, just barely as last year. Alright, what's going on here? Hello? There we go. Little you can't afford. Okay, so we're still doing good with money. You come home from a particularly late shift to find the kitchen lights still on, which isn't normally a good sign. Everyone's usually in bed by now. Softly opening the kitchen door, you find Sam sat at the table. Bills and papers are strewn in front of them, as well as what looks like what looks to be their second pack of biscuits. They give you a quick kiss as you take a seat next to them. Okay. I mean, we should be able to take care of these bills, no? Oh, I see some advanced logos here. Look at that. One, two, three. We got some got some government papers. Sam frowns and goes back to the bill they're holding. Hey, sweetheart. Just looking at the numbers again. They look to the door to the pantry, now converted into your mother's bedroom. Oh, we've been doing our best, but I think Cassandra really needs a nurse to look after her now. Suddenly, the bills are all you can see. 
man. What is this? Defarma? Oh, the medicines? Fortunately, with the money that's been coming in and what we've been able to save, we've got more than enough to keep going. With Susie home to help out, the nurse would only need to be part-time anyway. Sam smiles at you. Okay, that's not bad at all. As long as we can afford it, right? Is it because we canceled Susie's trip and we're gonna afford it? I know things have been difficult and the daily care won't be cheap, but she is your mother. We have to. We have to really, don't we? Uh, yeah, see, like, this is what I mean. Like, Susie last year wanted us to pay for her vacation, but now our mummy is really sick and she needs the nurse. If she needs the nurse, like, this is a need and we can afford it, yes, do it. There's no reason to be, um, to be like this. Maybe it's time to consider the other option? Are you talking about the transition? Uh, no. What on earth? You gratefully smile back. Of course you'll pay for the care for your that your mother needs. Yes, we're not transitioning her into death. Um, the sword of the Democles sheathed. What? The sword of the Democles sheathed? At least for the moment. You grab the papers and stuff them into a drawer. It's such a relief to not have to worry about it anymore. Or so you told Sam. Hours later, you're still awake, staring at the ceiling, thinking, How long will the money last? Oh, okay, so our money went down. Now we're back to being well off, which I think is not bad at all. So if we did pay for Susie's trip, our money would have been lowered. And we were just getting out of debt, I think, when she asked. So this was good. I think this was pretty this was pretty decent then. You have to plume Wright's terrible place from his capital penthouse? Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the 25th of October, I still remember that day. Dang. Must have been a really good dream then, huh? Oh my YouTube chat. I keep forgetting to keep my YouTube channel. Ah! Dab, 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 dab. Uh, uh, here we go. Heading there. Sweet. Whoa. It's looking weird here. Is the. Oh, yeah. It's very quiet. Look at that fish. I love fish. That looks so nice and peaceful. All right, let's turn everything on. Sky's normal. Planes are normal. Stay where you are, Cam. Jenny, this is not Jenny's decision, Jeremy, or yours. Whoa. I'll talk to Buxby. Oh, good. You can tell him I'll return his wife to Castle Rosa. She's hard in her next week. What's happening? Jenny. I'm sorry, Cam. Oh, commercials, 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 commercials. Must be played. Informing about rationing during the crisis? Maybe this is actually good. Who's the better, Jeremy? Uh, sports board game? Stop being so high mighty and do your job. Swordmaster? Crazy Neil! Oh, that's broken. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines for The establishment strikes back. The World Council has agreed today to impose. We got three images. On the people of this country. The sanctions, which are broad ranging. Include restrictions on the supply of oil and gas, food, clothing, and even some medicines. But how no, I would be angry if it was medicines too. What are your reactions to the sanctions? Oh, for <laughs> fucking outrageous! My mom oh. needs insulin. Am I supposed to get a transition? What's the government doing about? Yeah, that's messed it? up. Uh, You're limiting uh, insulin. Thanks, Patrick. Important stuff. Controversial Prime Minister Julia Salisbury attempted to assuage growing public concerns with the following official statement released earlier today. The international sanctions declared against this country today by the Man, that's a nice pearl necklace, huh? Are you distributing your funds? We need to come together as a team. Since coming to power, we have eradicated poverty. And as a consequence, seen crime fall to levels previously thought impossible. Our schools, hospitals, and youth clubs are thriving, and our transition centers have enabled many thousands to unburden their loved ones with dignity. Bro. In any sane world, we would be held up as a model to emulate. Evidently, this is not that world. This is not that thing, dude. The privileged few have lobbied, and now they are striking back. But we will not cower before their 
countries. And we encourage other progressive nations of the world to continue to trade, visit, and share their cultures with ours. Do not be afraid. We have more friends than we can count. We are a team, now more than ever. And this team is on your side. Thank you. I don't trust her for anything. Staff. But what do you, the public, think of our refreshingly different government? No. Robin Short found out. Short I was Angry. wondering if you could tell me what you think of the government. What? That shower of iridescent freaks, <laughs> punishing success and rewarding laziness, that are taking this country down the bloody swanny. And it's not just me that thinks so. My wife Iris, she agrees. A flawed day's night. Yeah. The release, I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend that it is all good. This can get really dangerous really high. quick. Requiring the new manufacturing facility in Grizzleford to move to 24 hour a day production. With people finding more oh. and more uses for the ever versatile flour, the team at Ruin Consist certainly have their hands I don't know much about this flour. So, is there anything better than a handful of flours? We asked Patrick to find out. Huh. Patrick? Could I ask you for your opinion of flours? Of what, Pet? Uh, flards. What are they? You know, <laughs> flards, like the, you know, the well, flards, you know, everyone knows what flards are, flards. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> <coughs> don't smoke. Oh. Don't smoke. Is it some sort of code? Are you okay? <coughs> A momentary lapse of reason? Commuters across the capital found themselves somewhat bemused. Oh, those are good images again. Stumped by oh, get well soon. <laughs> In a baffling start to the day, commuters found performers outside every major station all dressed and posed identically. Whether we're supposed to be amused or intimidated is anybody's guess, Jeremy. But most commuters didn't even stop to notice. Hmm. I mean, well, if they're being peaceful, grand contemporary dance, why be angry about it? Harmless. But how do we all feel about Disrupt and their eclectic tactics? Robin found out. How do you feel about Disrupt? Oh, well, now you're talking. Ruddy hero, showing us not to take it lying down like Iris here. <laughs> <laughs> so you both feel there are cause worth supporting? Well, Iris doesn't speak online, but we're pretty sure there's still one in there, aren't we? Over her. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever it is, it loves Disrupt, fighting the oinks for our freedom. And what could possibly be wrong with that? Do you need me to get you some help? <laughs> Ooh. Scott Fannin. Resourceful doctors David Wong and Ingrid Spores Morgan Hawkinsford today announced Man, that's a big word. harvest in Dante's paint. Although they can currently only grow a few fungal strains, the scientists seem to be staying positive as the following. Alright, what's going on in Dante's taint? The undauntable scientists chose to try and survive in the cave system while the complex rescue operation inches forward up here on dry land. Let's hope they're like strong enough. But with Advance planning to spend an eye-watering amount of public money on the rescue craft, we asked Patrick Bannon to find out what we should all be thinking. I mean, if they're stuck, it's good to rescue them. What are your thoughts on the costs of the rescue? Oh my god, Patrick Bannon, wash your mouth out with soap. You can't put a value on human life. You have to spend whatever it takes because one day you might be trapped in an underwater cave system and you would want exactly the same. I agree. Uh, I don't think so, actually, because uh, for legal reasons, I'm actually not allowed within 31 yards of the coastline. So. <laughs> I am not a number. Applications finally open today for the new advanced team membership card, a scheme by the government to allow fast access to all the new public services being introduced daily. Huh. The team membership cards are entirely voluntary but will be recognized as legal identification by all major organizations, including the police, banks, and rightfully, clubs and bars. And of course, there's no charge, Jeremy. It all seems too good to be true. Well, he's always supposed oh. to be. But most importantly, what should you, the public, think about the new team membership card? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Team membership card. Oh, yeah, fantastic. I'm applying today. I mean, why wouldn't you? What are these protesters doing? They don't want us to know who their names are. Besides, have you seen the savings you can get? I'm getting one for the little one as well. Oh, how adorable. Yeah. Gonna be a proper little team member, aren't you? Yes. He smiles. He smiles. And finally tonight, maybe it's like to a lot more people in. Tommy Hounsleeves and his fiancée, Tiffany Lamour, 
was put about today doing a little shopping for what many are already calling the greatest wedding ever. Oh, is this the we celebrities again? We can only assume that Tiffany's latest show, My Teenage oh, Secretions, has sold better Well, why does she have so much money? By the looks of things, huh? the whole affair why is, has why she had so much money and not everyone else? Collection. I think that's a bit stupid. But what should your opinion be of this extravagant display of wealth? When everyone else is struggling? Disgusting. Your thoughts. Okay then. <laughs> later tonight, in a break from our usual responsibilities, Jeremy will be taking popular rapper Jay Zuss to task over his street credibility, and then we'll both be meeting the team behind a new play that's got theatre critics buzzing with anticipation. That's all coming up on tonight's National, National Nightly News. News. It's my favorite news. I love this channel. Man, that text is barely readable. First tonight, let's return to our main story. With the shine coming off Advance's popularity and the honeymoon period pretty much over, the National Nightly News has spared no expense in bringing you the response to today's sanctions from across the continent. Joining us to wow. digest this shocking mm -hmm. development are Prime Minister Peter Clement from his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, Jeremy. And from Urkistan Foreign Minister Ivan Vodovich. It's a great pleasure. I miss both <laughs> your like. And from Svenland, Minister of Mojo is Vienna. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Mr. your country pushed especially hard for these sanctions. Any regrets? My only regret is I was not able to see the face of my old friend Peter Clements when the results of the vote were announced. <laughs> As you say, he has one up in your bottom. In Svenland, we try not to gloat, actually, because it's seen as really ugly and dangerous to some small creatures, yeah? Oh, don't worry, Minister. Ivan and I go way back. Why do you keep cursing, Prime Minister? You know it's not right. Man who load dissidents onto train to labor camps, not because of love of country, but to make up for size of his tiny penis. Penis. No more than you. I see on election night with mouth like man thinks he's singing beautiful lullaby. But actually, he's squealing like a pig in hands of Randy Big Dick Palmer. Hey, My goodness. Actually, we Finlandians, we don't size obsess. We value passion, yeah? Like the way we spoke up for Mr. Clement's country at the World Council. That's all well and good. And high and mighty, but where were you for the actual vote then? A finger in each other's fjords. Oh my I gosh. Think it's kind of racist. And if you must know, I've had like a really tiring afternoon and my tongue is really sore at throat. Prime Minister, with advances popularity on the wane, you don't have to bring that up at every given opportunity, you know. <laughs> Peter is like man who thinks he's sniffing flowers in beautiful glades. But he's actually standing under outlaw pipe from Ship Jeffrey at ship flushing time. On day of Venice Festival of Shit, <laughs> I tell him this at 19th hole. Minister Vodovich believes that left to their own devices, people will behave sensibly. It's nature of all beasts. However, in this country, we think our citizens are capable of being more than beasts. Uh, pathetic idealism. Uh, Minister Björk, Svenland has long had radically different traditions and culture from the rest of the world, and yet it peacefully coexists. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, I think maybe the world sees us as something they can actually spiritually be enlightened to, yeah? Yeah, or maybe it's the orgy houses. Sometimes, when foreign dignities come to visit us, they're actually quite skeptical, actually, actually. So we take them on a visit to the donka 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 district. Donka 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 district. Shit of bull. Finland is like woman who thinks she made best cake in village hot baking contest. And then when she slices it open, it just full of piss and cum. Uh, uh, I, that's, well... That's just really gross, actually. <laughs> Finland is teeny tiny country with population smaller than number of people. Peter Clements is sex with his teeny tiny penis. It's not penis. all about size, actually. Yes, that's what Peter Clements always claimed. 
I'm talking about population size. I'm and I'm talking about Peter Clement's teeny tiny. Oh, oh fuck off, oh, my man. Prime Minister, please. Uh, it's so easy to sit on your pile of money and gloat, isn't it, pal? You're a shite leader. A fucking god awful gopher. And quite frankly, as my old man used to say, you're a bit of a cunt. Prime Minister, please. Is you who is cunt? Minister Vodovic, please. You people are fucking starving, pal. We will see how well dead your people are when the sanctions start to bite. Uh, you think your man like big, scary wolf person terrorizing village, when actually a pathetic goose person searching puddle for tiny dropped off penis. Why are you so obsessed about small cocks, mate? In Fernland, we believe like the size of your penis isn't as important as the love it contains, yeah? Oh, fuck <laughs> off, yeah. Okay, if everybody could just calm down. You're so smug on golf course. They are like man who fuck pig and somehow My give goodness. herself to beautiful lady, yeah? Dude. <laughs> but now you start to see, yeah? Uh, the people never happy. It's never enough. It's certainly true that advances popularity. He's on the fucking <laughs> way. Yeah, let's go with this bollocks again, shall we? Actually, you know, you know what? Nah, fuck this. I'm done with this. Uh, Prime Minister, please don't storm out. No, no. I have had enough of you, Mr. Jeremy. This is the guy that's running the country, eh? Snyder side. This is a great guy running the country. We love this. Because it's not that fucking easy. Let me tell you. Your channel is a fucking disgrace. You insinuate and edit against us and pick your headlines so people don't trust us. The sooner you roaring monsters are taken into public ownership, the happier everyone in this country will be. Well, um, we've not got long until the adverts, so, um... I'm, 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 I'm sorry for the outburst, Miss Wolf. Julia thinks very highly of you, and I know you're not the one making the editorial decisions. Do any of you have anything you wish to add about the sanctions? My work here is done. <laughs> I like Manu happy he lie down with fatty, drunk, easy girl from Village Inn, who discovered in the morning he wake up next to beautiful news reporter lady. You know, uh. I think it would be a terrible shame here if the people of your country would you suffer because of teenage grudges and personal rivalries, yeah. Thank you. Prime Minister? This country, this wonderful, civilized, creative, inventive country, we're not scared of these sanctions. There's no wolves at our door, only the best of people striving to help us. So no, Ivan, we're not afraid. In fact, I doubt we'll lose a wink of sleep because we're strong and we're well resourced. And we don't back down to villainy. And on that note, we have to wrap up. Ministers, Prime Minister, thank you for coming. We'll be back after these messages. Dang! One minute back. Wow! <laughs> it's so easy. Uh, so many buttons to push. Piss off. <laughs> Will I see you at Graham this weekend? No, I've got meetings. Some tosses impose sanctions on the country. Well, shit. I mean, wow. So that happened. Roaring monsters. Public ownership. You two are like cocks who think you are king and queen of village, <laughs> when actually you are just puppets on the screen of evil city. Whoa. And Wait, we're censoring what certain people are saying now? Is he still meant to bow? That's that's dangerous, no? What? What are we censoring now? Hang on. Have they given you the crown principle? Well, Megan. This is Jeremy. This is a very political yeah. forward game, huh? Oh. Well, this game's hilarious, though. I think it's so funny. It's, it's quite all right. Yeah, just a quick one. You're not going to ask me about the chimp, are you? Live in 10 huh? seconds. He put that get up on himself. I'm just saying. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Five, let's see what we're going to be censoring. Four, three. Welcome back. I'm Megan Wolf. Later, we have an exclusive first look at a theatrical sensation everyone's going to be talking about. 
But first, it's time to go over to the culture spot with lovely old Jeremy Donaldson, who's joined by a very special guest. Jeremy. Thanks, Megan. I have the honor and privilege of being joined by hip hop royalty. He's been called the son of the streets and the father of truth. Um, I'm not sure how that works, but whatever. Let's welcome Jesus. Oh my gosh, what a name. Uh, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it's a real honor to be here on the show. The new, you know, as a kid on the streets, I used to watch you through a window of the shop, so to be here right now is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you've had quite the journey to be here today. Can you tell us about it? Well, you know, I try not to, um, well, you know, the past is the past, and I don't like to dwell on it. But yeah, man, the streets is all I remember. Like, <laughs> my mother donated me to a charity shop soon after I was born. Elderly lady took pity on me. You know, she let me sleep on a pile of crime fiction until I taught myself how to walk. Wow, that's uh, quite the childhood. And she died, like, died tragically. Right there in my arms, man. Dang. You know, I remember a tear falling as she laid there next to the youth homeware. And in that moment, I became a child of the streets. I was just 18 months old. Oh my gosh. What a tale. Oh my gosh. What a tale. Your name for your direct and honest lyrics. Was your style informed by your troubled past? Oh, like I said, I uh, I try not to talk about it. It's just, um, it's just too hard. Okay, so my first <laughs> album is about <laughs> the first four times I stole, so I wouldn't starve. A small Man, this guy just speaks truth. Me, he's a de facto leader. They call me Mr. He's going through these hard struggles. How brave of him to and tell. We were like a family. <laughs> Recently, you've been quite outspoken about the government. Yeah, fuck the government. Fuck oh. the boss. Fuck Pete Clement. What is it that you object to so vehemently? What is it that you object to so vehemently? You know, they stole from us. They're taking our money and spending it, man. Redistributing it. Actually, homelessness has been all but eliminated in our government. So? Surely that's a cause close to your heart? <coughs> yeah. Nah, of course, man. Very much. So. <laughs> like, why do I have to pay for it, you know? You don't. People have been rehoused on properties seized from the historically wealthy. Mm. And that couldn't have been you, could it? Yeah, yeah. I worked hard to be here. I built this from nothing, and I deserve to be rewarded for that. That's Would true. Would you say you worked harder than, say, a farmer or a care worker? I don't know. But if people are taking something from my music, who should value it, buy it? Who's to say I don't? And no one can take that away from me. Not even to help, say, vulnerable children? Mr. Cheese Slice? Mr. Cheese Slice? What is it you're trying to say? I just don't understand where you've placed yourself I politically. I mean, is it ideological or is it tactical? Well, it's more of or a... Or like maybe it's hereditary. Or maybe Stop trying to tie me a knot for your words, Jeremy. What? I let the music speak for itself. I let the music and the people itself. agree with me. And the people agree with me. Well, that remains to be seen. Hmm. But you have given me a very easy segue out of a conversation okay, that so I we're was much more painful we're, we're, for me we're, we're than it was to mute stuff. So here he is. About with his hit song. That's against the government, which is really weird. Off, I'm going to do something a little different to the new single I've been working on. Oh, so this is uh, unapproved, is it? Yes. We love it. Excellent. Don't worry, we've got a state of the art sensitive system. What's the worst that could happen? Uh oh. So here oh, we're is talking about us. A new song. Aren't we lucky? It's Jesus. First, you're going to pay off. You're going to pay back. Oh, is that the Prime Minister? Oh. Well, we're all different races from many different places. At any given moment, only one could be the greatest. So you can feel elation for your participation. Still two leaders in this motherfucking nation. Now we're getting sanctioned, talking about expansion. Why does Julie S require a massive fucking mansion? So fuck all your schemes. I don't need your freaky team. And I don't need your help to achieve my fucking dreams. Okay, this is really weird. So don't make a fuss when you find you're one of us 
look at every single one of you's a bit Jesus And you can call me crazy, cause no one ever pays me But I won't waste a lifetime being motherfucking lazy I may be inventive, my taste may be expensive But why would I get out of bed with no fucking incentive Although it's contravention of your obvious intention I like to eat a little of the fruits in my invention You make us the same, but we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same The bets of the praise are the press of the way Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna stab it into pink and clem as motherfucking dead Cause he's fake, cause shit is what the job is unpaid for It's time to spawn a couple with a motherfucking bitch for Where's the beat? I lost the beat so this is for the snub ones, the push and the shove ones, the folks that feel the burden of their motherfucking loved ones, ones who had plenty like a motherfucking Bentley, the ones who now find that their bank accounts are empty, the ones with aspiration, who had to flee a nation, the ones who built a business that had dreams of perspiration, there's all sorts of people, the good and the evil, it only takes a glance to see we're not all equal. You make us the same, but we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same And the best of the praise of the press of the ways Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Gonna take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head See, like, this is like a threat thing I'm not, I'm like kind of fine with censoring Cause it's like literally you're just saying about murdering someone You see, get your asses in the street Set a fire in the building, let them feel some fucking heat Gonna take this fact, gonna stain it red, gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head. Cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job, he's unthinkable. It's time to spawn a cup and rip the motherfucking bitch for. Chase that dream, you don't read the fucking like dream. Donald Trump and dish track. <laughs> the seams, Cause they're stale and corrupt, then you're angry and corrupt. Then your hearts and your minds and your fists to destruct. Wow. That is a wild song to sing on the news. Wild. Jay's us there with his new song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. That, I'm sorry. Um, I might not agree with you, but I'd just like to offer you an apology. I've just been told that there was some kind of issue upstairs and an attempt was made to censor some of your lyrics. What? Are you joking? I just like to say to you and everyone at home that this was a mistake. This is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot think of this. Here at the Lancer Lightning News, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral, unbiased, and independent of any outside. Oh, so the channel One News doesn't like if we do that. We will never censor ideas. Back to you, Megan. Oh. Well, a bit of dangerous language there. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you, little Jeremy Donaldson, for providing our culture shock. Coming up, we'll be speaking to a couple of familiar faces about their upcoming dramatic outing. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. That's a bit wild. Popping a new tape for last ad break. Okay, so we played that. So let's do the bold new shampoo. I'm not going to do any of her freaking ideas. Any of her ideas freaking always mess up. So we're going to do Crazy Neil. Okay. Very, very weird. Alright. Whew. That was really odd. Feeling tired? No. I'm just kind of always tired. <laughs> uh, even if I'm wide awake, I'll just end up yawning. I, could, I literally can sleep. I think my normal sleep is like, I sleep 12 hours a day. I literally sleep too long. So I'm just always freaking tired. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. shot. Okay. Look at him. Who is this? Position. Oh, say no more. Say no more. Megan, Jeremy, do you remember Mr. Algebra? Vividly. Mr. Algebra? Mr. Harris, and this is Ms. Raiden. What? Philippa, please. You're back together again, eh? Who'd have thought it? Yeah. Perhaps a lower order. Oh, thing. Jeremy. This, this is awfully exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay then. We're going live in 10 seconds. What is going on with that commercial? Camera one. Oh. Right. Five, four, three. 
welcome back. And no, you're not mistaken. Sitting across from us are some very familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yogurt commercial, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by national treasure Tommy Harris, the national theatre's Philip Raymond, and national deficit Jeff Algebra. That was so lovely to have you all. Um, Tommy, would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I bloody love to. It's about me. It's about my life. And where did the idea come from? So, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like an immense hog. And then Cindy comes in, she says, she says, Peter's on the phone. That's Peter Clements, the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Peter's actually a really good mate of mine. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, no, he comes to training sometimes. He's, he's a really good goal sweeper. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Pete, he says, he says, Toby, can, he speaks my name, Toby, see. He says, how would you like? to spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation. How would you like to really make a difference in these desperate times? What did he say? You know, right? So Jeff, the question <laughs> on everyone's lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well, after the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I've touched, I knew that I had a, a career in theatre. I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said that I'd been offered the gig as director, I was ecstatic. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. Why did you do that? I, I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been told that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy, um, sorry, would you just give us a sense of what the show is actually about? Uh, oh, gosh. It's about how hard it's been for me and some of the struggles that I've faced. It, it's like really getting to the heart of how tough it is to be me. I call it Tommy Harris, Jesus, that was hard. <laughs> Uh, That's a freaking title the of the show. Um, would you mind telling us what's going on here? Yeah, so the show is, is, is built around uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings of scenes from my life. But Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. I'm sorry, son. You're an embarrassment. But Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the house! <laughs> oh Back to the house! Philippa, um, what's it been like co-starring with Tommy Harris? I've always dreamed of treading the boards of medium-scale regional theatres, Megan. And for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. Well, let's get to the ballet show then. Tommy, uh, Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always suffered from typecasting, forced to play the same tired characters in every god-awful yogurt advert or god-forsaken soap opera or god forbid a pantomime. But you know, this, this, this show has really let me just, just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it that you bring to the show. Good question. Uh, I think these guys would agree with me when I say that it's my uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm round the shoulder approach that's really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. He was our rock. Can you give us a sneak peek of anything else that might be in the show? I did not mean to air that. That's hilarious, though. We've got lots of exclusive first-hand experiences of Tommy's time in the underground sports ball scene. And some epic fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. Wow. You'll never take the sacred park! <laughs> Am okay. I right in saying this was officially commissioned by the government yeah, this yeah, little all, all scene feels like i could you make know, this in middle honest, school like in middle school we had to make saver, commercials really. oh, I, I think it's and it's giving say, that vibe i don't know why it's just giving that vibe finale. which frankly would have been a travesty oh 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 the cgi we do this every night oh my goodness the metaphor for what 
and the problem that was deep. of footing the bill, yeah, right? Bloody <laughs> right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus and the dry cleaning of my ties, I'm barely scraping a profit here. Amazing. And where can the folks at home come and see this for themselves? We're performing all over the nation. <laughs> And people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Yes, it's unbelievable. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Next time we see you, no doubt, you'll have taken our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all we have time for tonight. Join us tomorrow when I'll be interviewing the world's most attractive horse. <laughs> I want to be a part of that. And I'm Megan Wolf. And from all of us here, have a peaceful night. The world's most attractive that's horse. That's that sounds so good. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? What is Crazy Neil selling? Garden furniture. Ooh. I want to go to his store so bad. Pawns? Fronds? Elephants? In a wheelbarrow? Alright. I think we did pretty good. Oh yeah, we got solid. Solid. You received bonus. Current. Starting to get rich. Uh, shares have gone down for who literally cares. Government hates us, Resistant likes us, and this channel still likes us, so that's fine. I mean, I don't think we can get in too much trouble, right? If we, you know, with the government? Don't know. Um. I'm not too long. A ladder worth climbing. Oh, is this our backyard? Can we get this from Crazy Neil? What? Oh my god. I don't know if this is behind me. He's exactly behind me, so you can't see him. Alright. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon in summer, with you and Sam making the most of both kids being out of the house. You bang your head coming out of the cupboard with the last two slices of homemade cake. It used to be much easier when you could store things in the pantry. It's rare for you and Sam to actually get to finish sweet things in this house, and you savor every moment. Just as you take your last bite, you hear the sound of the front door slamming. That'll be Charlie back from the go-getters. You can hear him practically running to come find you, and he's grinning from ear to ear. When he finally does, I have some really big news. You and Sam play along, sitting attentively with bated breath. Ready? Charlie asks, as you both nod enthusiastically. With a flourish, he reveals a brand new badge from his pocket and proudly presents it to you with both to to you both to examine as he announces, As of today, I'm a member of the first tier Cohesion Cadets. There's way more stuff I'm gonna be doing and I'll be working some weekends, but it's really cool. I mean, we don't really know much about this place still. Um, Sam, congratula Sam congratulates Char Charlie, so you can't help but frown. Seems like a big step up for teenagers. I mean, there's nothing we can really say or do, so I guess we might as well be positive about it. You and Sam grin back to your son. You're thrilled that he's happy and doing well. Yeah, that's the best that you can do. Hmm. It's really weird. A grown-up child. Is this about Susie? Can you say a few things? Like what? I'm curious. You've always had dinner as a family for the important events, and tonight is no exception. You've invited Chris Round, Chris Round as an olive branch. Wait, I'm reading this wrong. You've even invited Chris Round as an olive branch. Or Sam did, and that's why, apparently. It'll be the last time we're all going to be together for a while. So far, you've managed to avoid fighting with Chris or Susie over politics, which Sam is no doubt grateful for. <laughs> Susie 
spent so much time with her boyfriend lately. I feel like she's barely been home. Okay. I mean, that's not really a bad thing. She's like 20 now, no? Given how much time they've been spending together on their own, you were a bit surprised when Susie and Zach proposed a big family dinner tonight. He and Chris have always gotten on like a house on fire, much to your irritation. And of course, Susie can never do anything wrong in your mother's eyes. So despite the fact you're all packed around the kitchen table, the air is happy. You take a sip of your drink and enjoy the moment. You and Zach have never quite seen eye to eye on matters of politics. While you don't share his strong disrupt tendencies, you have to admit sometimes he does have a point about the government. Still, if he makes Susie happy, that's what matters. Susie stands, tapping her glass with a spoon, silencing the various conversations. We have an announcement to make. Is it going to be like a pregnancy announcement or like a marriage? Ooh! It catches you by surprise and you find yourself hoping for good news. I don't want to do a big speech or anything, but we wanted everyone together to tell you. You hope this isn't going where you think it's going. Zach and I are moving in together, she announces to the choruses of congratulations from around the room. Well, I'm moving into Zach's studio for now while we look for somewhere for the two of us. Susie follows up quickly, clearly excited to be telling you all. I mean, I don't really see anything wrong with them moving in together. They're both adults and it's better than like doing something that like can mess you up legally like marriage. And I, from experience, you definitely have to move in with someone before you even like understand the entire like what because everyone has their own routine everyone has their own like good things about them and bad things about them when it comes to like the way they live in a home so i think this will be great to learn like to see if they would get used to each other living together that's great news sweetheart i'm happy for you both sissy grins at you as sam turns to her and gushes oh tell us about these places you're looking at the room fills with excited conversation and laughter. It's great to see your daughter happy. Yeah, this is good! Eventually, it's time for Zuzi and Zach to leave and head to their new home. It turns out, while you and Sam were out that afternoon, they'd been moving Susie's things as a surprise. There are a few tears, but mostly smiles as you see them out. Even Chris has been surprisingly well behaved this evening. Hopefully, it'll all work out. Yeah, this seems like not really a bad idea. You close the front door and Sam disappears upstairs. When they don't return, you go looking to find them sitting on the floor in Susie's empty room. You slide down the wall beside them and put your arm around their shoulders. Everyone has grown up sometime, has to grow up sometime. Yeah, I mean, that's the good and the bad. My mom was very unhappy when I moved out because I moved out when I was 18. A sign of things to come. Oh, wow. Okay. We're in traffic. I don't know how it is possible that your stream doesn't have a lot of spectators. You have to be so nice and funny to see. I don't think I'll be around for much more time. Sorry. I sound weird, but I wish you all the best in your beautiful and skilled reflect. Aw, thank you, though. That's really sweet. No, truly. That's not weird at all. You're really, really nice and sweet. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe one day, but I'm glad for even you to show up and talk too, because you definitely made this mood uh, more uplifting. Thank you for joining, and hopefully I can see you again soon. Shopping. Something that always seems so tedious before the sanctions has become even more of a chore now. You managed to get almost everything you needed for the family this evening, but you'll have to come back tomorrow to get through the week. There's a queue to leave the, the car park. So it's hard to make out why in the dark. Hopefully whatever's causing it won't be long. As the final car in front of you drives off, you realize the queue is actually due to a checkpoint set up at the exit. A friendly looking man in the advanced uniform CCO and blazoned, wait CCO isn't that what our kid's doing? Something like that? And blazoned in a number of places on it, approaches your car and knocks on the driver's side window. You roll it down. Good evening. Nothing to worry about. I was just wondering if I could see your team membership card, please. Weren't the car these cards supposed to be voluntary? Yeah, they were. 
I'm sorry, I don't have one. Ah, that's no problem. We've got forms with us right here, and we're more than happy to sign you up. The man gestures to his colleague behind him, a young woman in a similar uniform. She clearly received the short end of the stick and is stuck with the paperwork. I thought these cards weren't required. Well, strictly speaking, they're not. But there's also loads of benefits to having them and no reason not to get one. It's kind of sus. His smile fades a bit and when he puts a hand up to scratch the back of his neck for a moment, he leans over you. His presence now seems a little intimidating. Man, come on. Why are you going to be like this? The government! That's why we're not gonna stand with advance. This is a bit forceful now. Uh no thanks. I mean there's not I'm gonna say no. Why do you need my why do you need my information? No thanks. It's not something I want right now. Almost instantly, the friendly demeanor is gone and his expression is one of stern disapproval. Well, obviously I can't make you sign up, but I would strongly recommend you do. And soon. We wouldn't want people to think you had anything to hide, would we? He takes a step back and gestures you to drive on. You're sure you see him, you see him writing something down in your rearview mirror as you head home, somewhat more hurriedly than before. Did he take our license plate? Oh, this is so weird! Clearly, Advance are very keen on every jo everyone joining the team. This is weird. This is giving like. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. An invitation worth ignoring. Man. Oh my gosh, I'm so weirded out by the other one before. I wish I would, but I don't think I would stay in this wall for much longer. Oh, don't say that. I hope everything's okay. If anything's wrong, I strongly suggest you to call in the, you know, the hotline number and get help because there are people who still won't care. It's sa it's a Saturday, one of your few days off, and you've made the most of it. But as late afternoon draws on, the invitation sits pinned to the fridge, staring accusingly at you. The Channel One Gala is a mandatory work event. Bozeman was very quickly to tell you. Also, don't you dare be late. Uh, I mean, if it's... But as the late afternoon draws... The invitation to the pins there and it. I mean, it's just a work event, and it's not really a bad thing, and we don't really have anything planned, so I don't see anything wrong with it. You can live with another... You can live with another note from Bozeman. You can keep your Saturday night. No, let's do this! We already skipped a work weekend once. Can't do it. Best to go. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Best start getting ready. You wonder if Sam will give you a lift. A drink or two might help with the enforced office socializing. Hopefully it won't be too bad. After all, you're pretty good at your job, right? Okay. Is it going to turn over to the day? Or to the event? National News Night. This looks snazzy. Oh, I'm so glad we went. Look at this. Got the beaded walls. Music's good. You arrive on time, barely, at the Savin Sauvignon, one of the oldest and grandest hotels in the capital. You're surprised to see a queue to get in and quickly realize it's because people are being searched at the door by some very military looking personnel in smart attire. While you're waiting, you can't help but notice just how very opulent the building is. Possibly the fanciest place you've been to in your life. You submit to being patted down, and with a sigh of relief, are let in the, into the hotel. Okay. Once inside, you're directed to the grand ballroom, and following the signs, you marvel at the sheer scale of the place, and the amount of armed security guards. When you finally arrive, a very severe looking woman at the door asks for your name. Alex Winston. Wow, look at this drink tower. She curtly checks her list before whispering something to the waiter beside her. You made it just in time to be seated before dinner. Please allow Emmanuel here to your table. The waiter smiles at you, 
and opens one of the great double doors gesturing for you to enter. Immediately, you can see why it's called the Grand Ballroom. You pause for a second to take it all in. You feel a slight tap on your arm, and Emmanuel gestures for you to follow him. He seats you at a table in the central floor area with a decent view of the stage. Clearly, you're in Bozeman's good books at the moment. You're sat with some colleagues you've seen around the Channel 1 offices before, but don't know that well. One of them informs you, far too excitedly, it's a very corporate evening of awards and speeches. At least the food should be good. Dinner is indeed lovely. With the help of the no doubt very expensive wine, conversation flows easily enough. In fact, much to your surprise, you're actually presented with an award for best newcomer to the Channel One family! Let's go! Well, this was unexpected. As you walk up to collect it, you recognize the presenter as Dr. Adrian At Atkinson Blimey of Incisors of Fame. He thanks Advance for sponsoring this year's gala before specifically thanking Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement for being in attendance tonight. As you take to the stage, you see the frontmost central table does indeed seat the Prime Ministers, as well as Bozeman, Megan, and some other very well-to-do types that you don't recognize. That explains all the security. As, you hand as you're handed an award, Dr. Atkinson Blimey asks if you'd like to say a few words. Um, let's see. You're a little nervous and splutter out some quick praise for Advance on Channel 1. You make a joke, thanking Dave for fleeing the country and leaving you his job. Um, let's not say that. <laughs> Just in case he can get in trouble. Um, you're a little nervous and splutter out some quick praise for Advance and Channel 1. As you think Advance, a pause breaks out around the room. Both Peter and Julia stand up to make magnanimously accept it before saying the night's not about them, but thanks all the same. As you head back to your seat, you see Bozeman nodding at you with a satisfied smile on his flushed face. Clearly, that was the right speech. Good. Okay, so we're still on Bozeman's good side. Just as you're finishing up dinner, one of the other people at your table points behind you. As you turn, you see Bozeman walking briskly past with Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement in tow. You're pretty sure he was pointedly ignoring you. He seems to be introducing the Prime Ministers to a selection of people at different tables. Better them than you. Honestly, I don't want to meet them. Finish off the rest of the meal, listen to the last few speeches, and then head home. All in all, it was a surprisingly nice evening. You might actually look forward to the next one. Providing Bozeman invites you to that one, of course. Yeah. We ain't going there willingly, let's just say that. Man, it's getting nice, though. Oh, and more bra work time. Sorry, but it's for too long. Sometimes it happens. Not all I made for it to make it all the way to the end. Have a good life. No! Nereo, please, my heart. There's not much I can do for being just a person who's streaming, but just know that there are people who still love and care about you no matter what. And if there's anything that you can do, just take a chance and call the hotline. That's all. I mean, there's not much I can do, and I'm so sorry for the struggles that you've this went through. Is this is Mr. Bozeman, your boss. Hey, now Bozeman, shut up. Ooh, work safely. What what day is it? August 30. Dang, past my birthday. Um, unauthorized personnel report violations immediately. Whoa. Protective equipment. Gotta wear hard hats in this studio now? Okay. I'm going to leave this game here. I've been playing this game for way too long. More than I should have, actually. Um, but this is getting really, really juicy. And I'm, like, obsessed with it. I am a bit too obsessed with it, really. <laughs> I need to pace myself. <laughs> cool. Um, let's do some other stuff. Let's get... Let's see. Let's bring this back over. Oh, my gosh. My freaking... Are you kidding me? Evening, my freaking I'm stream for YouTube has been. Like the worst thing I could have done. Wow. A little late in the stream, you know? Okay, so we are going to be playing Dreamlight Valley, and I'm gonna get some quests done. Which 
Cooler Valley. Done. Well, that's cool. A very blunt okay. Uh, you have a lot of additional content in this profile. Life is spooky, but through life. Cool. That is something I still want to do. Not for broadcast has been really fun. I know it's probably like the most boring game to watch, but it's really, really fun. I love it. I really can't wait to get it done. It's also like made in 2017, I think it said. All right, Dream Life Valley. I got some quests I need to do. They've been releasing another set of news for Dream Life Valley as well. Um, so that's something I need to look at too. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it. Um, social post. They showed the realm. And I think that's super cool that they showed the realm. That's exciting. We're getting close, I feel like. We're getting really, really close. I don't know. I've, I'm having a feeling that they're probably going to update it in a month. I'd give it a month. A month or less. But I think we're definitely in, like, we're in a month long now. Two weeks. Two weeks to a month. That's where I think the time frame is going to be. So I definitely need to catch up on quests. I'm probably going to do a couple quest lines. Um, I'm going to see how long it takes for me to do Rapunzel's quest line. Because I don't think I have Jack all the way gifted up. And I'm not going to sit here and do that. I'll probably have to do that off stream, to be honest. Okay, continue. Because I did all of Gaston's. I did all of Eve's. And I know that, like, with Rapunzel and Jack, they also have those other extra quests. So I gotta... I gotta at least catch up a little bit. As much as I can, at least. So today is basically a catch-up day. I just really wanted to play Not For Broadcast 2. We can do a little bit of voting, too. I love to vote. Especially, I want my score to go up. <laughs> it seems like with each update, the premium shop um, gets more and more items. Like, I think this is the most the premium shop has ever gotten in an update. So, um, I definitely want to get the premium shop items this time around. Really excited what comes out. So, I really want to get these Moonstone scores up. I just realized... Belle and Ariel kind of have the same cape. Hers is shorter, but just different colors and same little floof. That's cute, though. Ariel, I mean, I was not expecting Ariel to come out with this. The thing is, is that their hint... Uh, let me see if I can find their hint. They had a hint about it, and it was mainly about... Um, what was it? It was like a flower and a snowflake? When did we did we even get flower snowflakes? Um, let me see how far back was it? Was it really far back? Was this oh this is because we're in this is a couple months back, right? When the last season pass was here? Or when it started at least? Mm, where's that hint? I know it has a hint somewhere. Unless it's like tied to a tweet and it's not gonna show because of the tweet. What is this? 1218? Oh my gosh, come on. All It's all the way up here. 1215. Um, hmm. No, no. No. I swear, it. they did like a weird little tweet and it had like a butterfly and a snowflake. And I doubt that was for Ariel. We all thought I think it was going to be for Mirabelle. I can't find it. If I can't find it, I'm going to scroll up a little bit more. If I can't find it, I'm going to just move on. Here it is. Butterfly and Snowflake. Um, hi there, I was looking for not for broadcast to decide if it was something I want to play, so I've been lurking a bit. really enjoy your vibe here. I have some plans for tonight, but I'll definitely be back. Drop the follow. Oh, thank you. Uh, catch em all. Catch em, Ali? Ollie? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, like, we understand that this was ice skating, and then we got the snow raccoon, but Butterfly Snowflake did not, did not get go goofy. Goofy so forward. My goodness. Okay, so quest lines I have a lot of. Yep, Ollie. Allie, like the bowling alley. 
see you again soon. All right, see you. Hopefully catch you next time. Um, we got Vanellope Quest. This all requires Jack Skellington. What level do I have Jack Skellington? Yeah, like what levels do I have these two characters? She's eight. Is Jack a Dreamlight Valley character? Oh, he is. He's four. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I'll probably do this for a little bit and then um, I'll probably do this for an hour. And then we'll move on to something else. So where is Rapunzel? I gotta use this map. Ooh, okay, so that's the jungle. That's ancient landing, so I guess I'm gonna have to go dig up some stuff. Using the map, search the Eternal Isles, find the sun trap petals with our hourglass. Okay. Uh, hourglass, move to... We'll start at the docks. Forever loading. My frames seem to be dropping. I need- I think I'm gonna have to lower my graphics just so my frames don't drop as bad. Usually when I'm not streaming it plays perfectly fine on the highest settings, but I think because I'm streaming my CPU usage and all that, plus it's like raining, it's really not helping my frames. Um, so we're, we're just gonna drop everything a little bit. We're gonna drop it to- oh, never mind, it's not even on the highest graphics. <laughs> Let me humble myself. Uh, medium. Hopefully it's better. It's running a little bit better. Gosh, that lighting changes. Sun drop petals. Okay, so let's see. We are going to take a photo with my phone because I'm not going to remember. I also need to work on memories because I want to figure out these Lilo and Stitch, Encanto, Night Before Christmas. These memories, t the Princess and the Frog. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. I love that movie. Love the music in that movie. Oh, it's so pretty, so beautiful. Where's my phone? I don't have my phone. Okay, um, I have an iPad. <laughs> I have an iPad, I was... Just one moment. <laughs> it's so stupid. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Oh my gosh, I thought it was dead. Uh, oh, is it? It's locked sideways. Come on. I'm trying to take a photo. Recognize my face. Camera. Camera. Alright. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, yay! All right, I got the, <laughs> got it. So we need to go, comparing it to the map, we need to go Uh, right here in this little corner. Okay. Oh, I should have done the docks one first. It's fine, it'll live. Is it, it's up here. This is not it. So how do I use this? So with my hourglass, that's a bit strange though. Cause it's not like, it's not- Oh wait no, it's forward a little bit more. Uh, let's knock this out. Okay. Right here? Yep. Oh gosh, that typing. That's not sun drop petals though. Can I get any timed pets? I've been missing them so much. Not here today, not here today. 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Dang it! <laughs> if I did it earlier, <laughs> I really want to get the green and white snake. Um, my favorite one's got to be the pink spotted cobra. All right, where is this? It's right here. Oh, that's one. Okay. Uh, next one is. Is it? Oh man, that's really weird. Is it up here? Okay, let me find... So this is the divider that it's looking at. There's one right here, actually. So let's go to that one. I wish we could put markers down. That would help so much. I'm also gonna see if I can cheat my way through this so I don't have to waste time right now. Um, let's see. I need to go here. So I need to turn my butt around. Go up here. I really hope we get to fix the palace and that we can go in the palace. I feel like that would be so cool. Um, around here, right? Let's see. Is this it? Nope. Mm. All the way in here? Oh yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> Shh. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> Let me go to my home and actually put some of this stuff. I am awful with this because I love collecting the quest items because you don't get to see them again. And it's like these devs make these pretty little pictures. I want to see them. And they make bios for them each and every time. Yeah, look at that. So I'm just going to grab... We're going to keep ten of these. Sometimes, even though I put them in a chest, they do go away. Um, bring the pedal to someone skilled with magic. Uh, let's talk to Merlin. I'm always on team Merlin. Merlin's my guy. So, I'll talk to him. Oh, Merlin! He's still in his Santa outfit. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Merlin, do you know anything about, the ti about time magic? I'm afraid you'll have to be more specific. Time travel? Freezing time? Making time fly? Uh, no. A sort of spell with sundrop petals that can help Mother Gothel keep her youth. She's already youthful right now. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. The preservation of youth hasn't been a field study I've pursued. Why just look at my beard? <laughs> but your beard rocks. It's an impressive beard. Well, I'm rather proud of it, you know. Vanessa, I'm afraid I don't currently have the knowledge to help you or Mother Gothel stave off age. You might want to seek someone whose magically pursuit pursuits lie more in the vanity realm. Okay, I get it, Merlin. I get it. We gotta talk to Ursula. The most vain one we know, other than Gothel. Anything new? I wanna check in here first. Uh, no, no. I can't believe I don't have that 2 by 2 couch. Or that, like, two cushion couch. Aren't you adorable? Nope. And I know I have those two. Good find, though. I love that ski ball. Okay. So, is Ursula here with me? Or am I gonna have to summon her here? She's here. I love how the DLC at least turned her into Vanessa. And she's oh, so pretty now. We hey, Ursula, I found talk. some sundrop petals. Can you create an eternal sundrop charm for Mother Gothel? <laughs> well, well, Vanessa, I had no idea you were Gothel's little errand minion now. Um, I help everyone who needs it. Yeah. Well, if you're being so generous with your time, you should ask me if I need anything. I've helped you out plenty, Ursula. I got you out of your cave, remember? <laughs> that again? Angelfish, your credit for that ran out tides ago. Just tell me what else we need to make the charm. Uh. Since you have the petals, it should be as simple. Dream shards, ever gems, that capture the light of you the are... past. No. A few skeleton fish, and of course, my payment. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Rapunzel's secret. There's something special about that wayfish little guppy, and Gothel won't tell me what it is. It's her hair. Go Rapunzel's a marionette brought to life by magic? What? Um, no. That's not my secret to tell. It's up to Rapunzel to decide whether she wants to you share or not. I really like How it. sweet. Well, no. if you're not going to provide my payment, then leave. No payments, no charm. You know what? I've got the list of ingredients now. I bet I can make this myself. I just Feeling like a big fish in a small pond, are we? Just remember, Gothel will be furious if you make even one little mistake. Guess I better make sure to get it right. Thanks, Ursula. You're not welcome. <laughs> okay. There's a lot about this value. Um, uh, craft an eternal sundrop charm. So we should have everything. Let's see, potion enchantments. <gasps> Look at that. That's so freaking cute. Wait, I want to wear it. I can't wear it? Well, you dang know I'm going to dupe it. If I can't wear it, I'm duping it. All right, let's see. Oh no, what happened? A blink. <laughs> I got 20. Ha ha ha. Mine now. Alright, we gotta bring this to Rapunzel. Oh hey. There she is. I wonder if we'll ever get a different outfit with her with her short brown hair. Oh, so pretty. Is this... Your freedom from Mother Gothel. As long as she wears this, she won't need you to sing for her anymore. So what was Gothel doing when Rapunzel wasn't in the game? Are we just like pretending that she wasn't in the game this entire time? <gasps> I can't believe you actually did it! Thank you so much! <laughs> Will you give it to her right away? No, because you're going to do it. 
I'll be right here with you. It's going to be good. You need to speak your mind. Um, I'll be right there with you. You will? That'll definitely help. Let's go find her. Goodbye. Can't be so bad. See, I hate these stupid things where you have to witness. Because last time I had it, there was like an issue with Jack Skellington and Fairy Godmother. And just so bad. What's this? An eternal sundrop charm? How charming. Thank you, dear. You can go. Um... Mother? I've been thinking... Why do you keep calling her mother? Thinking someone as lovely as me doesn't need a charm. Tell me more, darling. <laughs> Freaking Woody. <laughs> He's like, I'm dead. Can't believe she said that. <laughs> I want to say that I can't. Can't believe I've forgiven you for breaking all my rules and betraying my trust. That's not it. I I just want... I, I want... I mean, I don't want... Speak up, Rapunzel. Stop mumbling. You know how it's I hate the mumbling. Kristoff, shut up. This is a moment. Oh. Motivational mu music. Motivational music. Let's go, Kristoff. Unless it has nothing to do with my magic. Oh. Aren't we independent? Very well. Okay. <laughs> Kristoff! <laughs> Kristoff, not the time! Go and have your fun. But you'll come oh, crying to you. me later, I'm assuming it said. talk? Oh, so how, what do you think, Rapunzel? I did it. My heart is pounding. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of me, too. I can't believe I really did it. I want to celebrate, Vanessa. Let's make a special campfire. This is the first time in my life I've been completely free, and I want to do something Mother took away from me. Of course, I can set up a campsite. It's going to be so much fun. It's got some purple seating, some lighting, maybe a few rustic decorations. So excited. I'm free. I- Oh, I almost forgot. I found this cozy fire pit Mother since I knew this. I wanted a campfire. Here, take it. Oh, we're going to have such a good time. Sweet. Whoa. That's a new item. Bye. Uh, decorate the campsite area in the jungle. Yeah, I'm going to do this right next to her house. And I'm probably going to end up keeping something like this next to her house for the future. It's just this will be like placeholder stuff. I'm not really going to delve into decorating today just because I need to really catch up on these quests and this is like my only motivation to do it. So let's put the campfire nearby. Alright, cozy fire pit. It's very small. We're going to put it... It's either going to go back here or in the front. I think we'll put it over here in the front. Um, How many seatings do we need? Also, does this light up? Nope. Okay. Uh, purple seating to decorative lighting four. I have very bad burn. <laughs> These are like the worst seats. We could do two hammocks technically. That would be cool. Um, I think I'll actually just do the two hammocks. Just da da da, one here and one here. That would be cozy as frick. Lighting. We need four lighting. Okay. Um, we can do torches. At the very ends. Or the, like a big one. Like back here. Yeah. And then we'll do... Where's the small one? Uh, there it is. One. Okay, that's three. And then we need one more. We can do... A little love co lion cub. Or we can do... This. Hmm. I think we'll do the little lion cub. Or we could just put uh, this one in the corner. Hmm. Why do I care? It's not going to stay here forever. I can change it later. Uh, we, <laughs> we can do this. Sure. That kind of hides it. And then... Was this decoration? Do I need that? No, I'm good. Uh, where'd she go? She is- man, my character looks so happy to be here. She is all the way over there. Girl, you freaking dash. Wait, where'd she go? She's over here. She's in the hallway area. Mm. Oh, I just know we're going to get there. Where is she? Rapunzel! Can you quit running? I'm hoping you can help me. You're all done? Great. I'll meet you at the campsite. Okay. I just 
you couldn't just like you know meet me there have to walk all the way over to you to walk all the way back go to the campsite you decorated with her I did not decorate it with her okay can we correct that I decorated it for her here it is all nice and pretty I want to put some capybaras in here uh, wait was there actually something here and I clicked it off oh well we're gonna put the capybaras here oh we'll put the Rapunzel capybara yes <laughs> that's cute there you go run free <laughs> the capybaras are so cute run free little ones know that you are free enjoy the space is she here oh she is hello oh this looks even better than i imagined i'm so happy you like it i love Aww. it vanessa i want to sing for you mother always made singing for others feel like a duty thanks to you now i can just do it because i want to in fact you inspired me to write hmm. this song Flowers golden glow, this new world is mine. Write a brand new verse, now your heart can shine. I have been set free, now the stars align. Here in the valley, my fate is mine. My fate is mine. That was a beautiful well song, Rapunzel. Yay! Proud of you. You got another oh, quest for me? You're here! So much to do here, isn't it amazing? I think it's uh, Bye. Gosh. Okay, um, might as well. Let's go. Do I have purified night shards on me still? I do. Can you just sort my inventory, please? Alright, let's get rid of some of that. Hopefully that levels are up to 10. I don't really want to... Where'd she go? How'd you freaking get all the way over here already? Hello? I get stuck in here. Oh, hello. Right, let's give her some gifts. I could go and get her favorite stuff, that would help, but I'm kind of lazy. Can't this just be more than enough? No, I should do it. It'll be a good quick boost. What does she want? She wants chocolate wood, <laughs> dumplings, I do not know how to make dumplings, and shiny amethyst. I could probably figure out how to make dumplings um, on the Discord server. Shiny amethyst, chocolate wood. Shiny amethyst, chocolate wood. Okay. Let's... Do I have any tropical wood on the floor here? Oh, there's some back there. One thing I really wish we can do is despawn these me. stupid little bubbles because those are the ones that bother me the most. You can clean up everything else, but I feel like those bubbles are going to be so hard to get rid of even if you like fully furnished an area. I'm not really a fan of them. It should be like a randomized thing, like a, how the night thorns are. I think that would be a better fit for it. Um, I think dumplings is like an eternity aisle thing too. Let's see. Uh, dumplings. Yep, right there. Okay, so I'll definitely have to use my use Discord for that. Let's see, shiny amethyst. Perfect. And let's see what it takes to make these dumplings. Um, I could probably just go here. And then I think it's pinned. Oh, she answered questions. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. Why are these so old? Wait, are the food stuff not pinned? Uh. I. Okay, I'm just gonna have to look. Maybe I'll find if I just look up dumplings. That kind of sucks. Dumplings, spring rolls, sweet chili, nope. Uh, I, oh, wait, no, that's not it. Uh, we already have dumplings. What? Oh, they must not have the DLC. How can we make dumplings in, does anyone answer her question? Uh, where'd it go? Uh, oh my gosh, I have to go through this giant thing? Oh my gosh, this is not what I wanted to do. I know, like, there was a whole message thread about dumplings. Here it is. What happened to this? This got unpinned? Dude, 
she worked so hard on this and they unpinned it. I think that's so dumb. Okay, so dump that's vegetarian dumplings. Does she have the other one with just dumplings? Here we go. Any meat, any wheat. Okay, here I'll put it to the side. Yeah, Nori wrote so much and I knew about it. That's why I was like just searching it up. That's so weird that they took it out. It doesn't even seem right. Where's the meat at? Uh what is it fish? Under fish? I always forget what the meat's under. It's not under that. Under crustacean? No. Where the frick is the meat? Okay, so it's wheat. Let's get that stuff out of the way. There's soya. Soya here? Yep. Um, any vegetable. Which is here. Broccoli! Where's this meat? I know I- I should have meat bought. I think I do have meat bought. Am I gonna just have to go down the list? Cause I know I didn't use all the meat I bought. There it is. Look at that, I got 76 poultry. Is that it? We- Okay, cool. That's that. Um, let's see. I think that's it that she wanted. Um, oh, what are the streamer awards doing? Are they still going? Did anyone win? Oh, they're still going. Nice. Um, I'm not going to be really concerned about that. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's see what does Jack want. Because I might as well do that while I'm here. While I'm in my house. What do you want, buddy? Yellow daisy, dreamlight fruit, dark wood. Oh my gosh, you're so easy. Yellow daisy is back here. Split. Dreamlight fruit, dark wood. Dreamlight fruit, dark wood. My dreamlight fruit. I don't know. Did I even finish this kitchen back here? I did. I have not been in this kitchen back here in so long. I, like, worked really hard on this kitchen before the update, and then after the update came, I, like, never visited it again. Alright, and dark wood. Here we go. Split. And pink. Done. Sweet. Okay. Um. So let's go give it to Rapunzel first. Hopefully that will level up. Level her up, since I'm working on her first. Okay, let's see. Is she at her house? She is. Sweet. Mm. Rapunzel! Where are you? Oh, there she is. You waiting for me? You knew. Oh, you smelt here. those dumplings. I know it. No, I don't want to hang out oh. with you. Well... Let's give you a shiny amethyst. Oh yeah, that gives it at least a decent boost. Um, let's see, give you a dumpling. I think it's my new favorite thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Wait until I give you this tropical wood though. What do you think of that? For me, really? <laughs> okay. Is that... That did count. I don't know why. It didn't look like it counted. It was like a very small boost. Oh my gosh, but I still have to like do all this. Um, playing with them gives them a boost, right? Here, let me play with you real quick. Let me kick your butt to show you how much I love you. Uh, got that. Oh, I love Scramble Coin. It's such a fun game. Uh, let's see. If I get... So if I do Gaston, that would take two. If I do Scrooge, it would be two, so it really does not matter. So let's do Scroogey Boy, and we'll have him move right here. Ooh, that's a good lineup for three. Well, never mind. Of course, Lumiere takes it over. Um, Let's see. Scrooge can take that, and that will be counted as two. Gaston can go here and it'll be counted as two. There we go. Easy. But Gaston's not really in a good spot for anything else, which kind of sucks. Ooh, that's a good lineup. Well, never mind. 
Let's see. Scrooge can go... Man, Gaston's got nut. Well, he's got that one at least, so he'll get one. Scrooge will get two, and then... Click bring Cinderella into this. And she can get these two. I think that's what I'll do. Here we go. And then, boom, and then, boom. Mia drop. Who do you have? I think the biggest threat, honestly, is Lumiere and Anna. Flynn is good for, like, the whole silver coin drop, but really not much else. Are you gonna do anything? Gosh, holy cow, you took a long time. Oh, movement buff. Dang, okay. She's ahead. <laughs> no, she's ahead. Okay, so Gaston is literally, he can't do anything, so we're gonna replace him with Eve. And he will go get this three coin. Um, Cindy will go here and here and just collect those two. And Scroogey will collect these. Rapunzel will be really good here. Well, never mind. <laughs> Okay. She's gonna delete herself. Yep. And then Rapunzel can actually go here. Scrooge can take these two, which will count as a three. And then Eve can go here. Because I don't think there's a chance for any of these guys to go here. So that'll be good. Okay. Uh, Rapunzel. He will go... If I put her here... Nah, it doesn't matter. There you go. And then you go here. You go here. That should- that should be it. Oh yeah, that's it. Ain't no way you're gonna get that many points. No. Yay! Okay, did that l help level up, I hope? Let's see. Sounding like it. Did it- did it help much? It barely helps. I don't even know. I don't even notice a difference. Uh, talking helps. And that's why I was wondering, do you think it's ever okay to break the rules? That, that depends on the rule. Mother's rules always seemed helpful until they weren't. So complicated, not always bad, not always good. Wait till I tell Slink about this place. He's not gonna believe me. <laughs> okay, Woody. Like a gray area? Exactly. Maybe rules are like paints. You have to mix them to get the color you want. Does that make sense? Kinda. Yep, have a daily discussion. Okay, so we just have to start gifting, which is... Oh, it's so painful. But I gotta do it. Okay, listen. Don't take on too much. We're here for you. You know what? I could just... I have a clicker bot. But then that means, like, I'm wasting time. Let's see, what other quests can I do for the time being? She'll be with me, maybe whatever I do can help. Um, do I have any good active quests? I do! Head inside the Vitalist Mines. Okay. Uh, here. Yeah, we'll just work on Jack. And whatever I can do with Rapunzel next to me, maybe that'll help. But I really don't want to like waste time and just sit here gifting when I could do that off stream with a little auto clicker. So, I think that's the most annoying thing, is just leveling up, leveling them up so high. I know some people do it with, like, gigantic pumpkin farms or whatever, and that helps a lot. Find Jack Skellington in the Vitalist Mines. Are you over here? Did this place change? Did it change? Were those two minecarts always there? Jack! Hey, buddy! You look good here! What do you think of this uh -huh. place? It's... Uh... I think it would be perfect for him. Not frightening enough? Yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Uh -huh. I can already envision all the research I do I'll do here. My Christmas experience will experiments will seem frivolous in comparison. That's great. <laughs> I have so many ideas and I want to get them all... Get. I want to get to all of them quickly. Dude. All that reading and not and not for broadcast has broken my brain. So what's next? Well, I'll need scientific instruments. 
Normally I'll borrow tools from Dr. Finkelstein, but that's not possible now. What about the stuff here? You've got flasks, a mortar, a and a pestle, potions. Oh, I'll most certainly make good use of the equipment here. But for the experiments, I'm planning... I'll need equipment made to certain physical tolerances. I wouldn't want anything exploding on me because I used the wrong type of glass container. That's true. I'm starting to regret agreeing on this. Well, I'm thankful this place is isolated. Exactly why it appealed to me. Well, good thing I'm a crafting genius. What do you uh -huh. need? Nothing particularly fancy. Just a standard array of flasks, burners, crucibles. Someone of your skills should be able to craft a scientific kit by using soft wood, coal, fabric, iron, ingots. Okay, whatever. Sure, I'll talk to you later. Brilliant, I'm off to see Merlin now. I hear he has a mind for magic, and I could use an expert's introduction to the arcane forces at work here. Off to the crafting table. See, this is why I need to have, like, a crafting station everywhere I, like, every stop there is. I have one at my house, so it shouldn't be that far. But I'm thinking about wherever I put the Goofy stall, I'm thinking about putting a crafting station and a chest. Just to make life a little bit easier. But I really need to redecorate this place. I'm ready for a good change. Okay. Scientific end. Ooh, this book looks cool. The scientific method. I'm duping it. This is my book now. Oh, that chest is... Cool. Um, split. Ah, oh, see, it took away whatever I had there. You hate to see it. Unless I did ha didn't have anything there. Hmm. We'll see. Let's go back to him. Look at that. That was so hard. Wow. See, like, I hate, sometimes it bothers me with these fetch quests because, like, I get it for people who are new and need stuff to do, but it's just, like, for, like, late game players who obviously have been grinding. It's just like, okay, made it, now what? Okay, grabbed it, now what? <laughs> the searching ones and the ones that actually do, like, cool activities are really cool. Those I appreciate. Oh, is he not here? Oh. Is he at his house? I wasn't expecting that. Jack? Are you home? You are. Dang it. Thought you would be chilling at your new little station. Oh, this area I need to tear down. Oh my gosh. This was from an old dream snap. It's Hello. Time for crabs, cunning, and mischief. Gosh, I love how tall he is. Got your kit ready. Is it science time? Vanessa, yeah. I knew I could count on you. How was your talk with so Merlin? Very productive. We discussed dreamlight magic. Planetary alignments and etheric crystallization. Uh, any particular planets? <laughs> etheric crystallization, what's wow. that? It's when magical energies take solid uh -huh. form. Well, the shards that manifest here are particularly intriguing. <laughs> Merlin specifically mentioned night uh -huh. shards. Do you think you could find some for me? Yep. That's dark magic, Jack. Be careful. <laughs> Vanessa, I'm a scientist. Nay, a visionary. I'm just saying, be careful. Uh -huh. Of course, I shall be in the epitome of conscious... Conscious... Okay, no. Jack, you must admit that you have to. You have a bit of a tendency to leap before you look. Mm. Oh no, that's all in the past, I assure you. Okay, okay. I'll let you do your thing, just don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it, Vanessa. Alright, I'll fetch you uh. some night shards. Excellent. Six of them will be fine. I'll meet you in the back of the vi I'll meet you back in the vitalist mines afterwards. Farewell. Easy enough. Hey drummer, how's it going? Welcome in. How is your weekend going? Um uh, Oh, do I but I don't have the crystals on me, do I? I think I need to get the crystals. Doing pretty good, I'm doing I'm doing good. Chilling out. It's been a nice chill Saturday. Thankful for that. <laughs> Catching up on some quests before um, the next update comes in. Where are... I'm just going to go grab these crystals just in case he changes his mind and says that I need to bring them. I also need to empty my inventory soon. Oh, I have the stuff that he likes. 
My weekend's good. Play with my band earlier. Ooh, in a band. Let me guess, are you the drummer? <laughs> that sounds cool though. What kind of music do you guys play? Let's see. Oh, Jack boy. I hope we get more use of the mines. I also hope they change the color of this checkerboard because this checkerboard is supposed to be this neon red. I freaking hate it and it ruins my decor. Jeez, boy. Here you go. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, I play drums professionally. Wow, that's awesome. I play drums in a band plus write songs on the side and sing as well. Dang, dude. Jack of all trades when it comes to music. That's awesome, though. Is it your passion? I hope it's your passion because it sounds amazing. Here you go, Jack. Six night shards as promised. Ooh. You're just in time, Vanessa. I've had a breakthrough. That's wonderful. Ah. I haven't been this excited since I discovered Christmas Town. So what's this breakthrough? Uh -huh. I could tell you, but I'd rather much uh -huh. show you. Let me just grind down those shards to powder, add them in, stir, and there. See, like, where are the cutscenes? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Think I've outdone myself this time. <laughs> a giant night thorn. Isn't it beautiful? No, it's not. <laughs> this is very bad, Jack. I told you this was a bad <laughs> idea. What's wrong with my night thorn? I worked hard to keep these from taking over the valley. Left unchecked, it will multiply and spread the forgetting <laughs> everywhere. Oh, well, that certainly was not my intent. I know, but now we have to deal with this. <laughs> mm. Perhaps with a few more night shards I can come up with- Oh no, I'm afraid you've lost all magical ingredient privileges for the time being. I'm gonna go talk to Merlin oh. about this. Well, if you must. Okay, I'm off. Please try to avoid making any more night thorns, okay? Bro! Holy freaking cow! Um, yeah. I really enjoy playing. I get excited every time I play. I always wanted to play drums every single time. That's awesome! I mean, I had a drum kit as a little kid too, but I never was like- very musically type uh, savvy. I was not good with music at all. I can't even keep a rhythm game in check. I used to play a game called um, Melatonin. Oh my gosh, I was awful at it. <laughs> it's a cover band. We play every type of music depending on the set list of time. That's cool though, being able to play different types of music. Um, okay, up there. I'm hoping you guys at least get a lot of good gigs then, since you guys play so many different variations of music. Uh, Merlin! Merlin, I need to change you. How do I get back here? Oh. There you are. Hey, <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh. Merlin, I can use some help. It's a bit of an emergency. Uh. An emergency? Goodness, what's the trouble now? Well, I was helping Jack Skellington with his dream of scientific discovery. Something went dreadfully wrong. Ah, I've certainly been in that position. Uh, aren't you a wizard, not a scientist? I knew you understand. <laughs> Far too well. Now tell me what went wrong. So Jack Skellington was curious about night shards, and well... Somehow he made a giant night thorn plant. That's the stuff! <laughs> mm, I suppose I should be disapproving, but I can't say I haven't been in the same pickle. Really? How unfortunate. Oh yes, I did my share of experiments before you returned to the we valley, and... A hero. <laughs> and well, um, not all of them were stop. successful. Luckily, I have just the formula for this. A sort of potion, as it were. It turns out that complementary metaphysics are the key. You're the best, Merlin. Eesh. Now, which one was it? Was it green? No, no. It must have been purple. Okay, purple person potion. Got it. Or was the purple the exact one to avoid in this situation? I'm sure it's in my notes. Need I do know that you're looking for just night thorns. Perfect opposite. I have a green formula, a blue formula, a yellow formula, and a purple formula. But which is the right one? Oh well, it'll be easy enough to find once you enter my library. Merlin, I've seen what it's like in your house. The place is a mess. Nonsense! Everything is exactly where it's meant to be. You simply don't understand my filing system. Clearly not. <laughs> well, I'll leave the administration of the valley to you, and you leave the organization of my home to me. Now. I have other business to attend. Good luck, Vanessa. Well, Thanks. Show. We play at coffee shops, bars, etc. Ooh, that's nice, though. Very chill vibes. 
I feel like it would be really cool to learn the piano. I think that would be one I would learn. Learn piano or violin. I know that's not probably near um, what uh, any of your band members do, but I think that would just be cool. Uh, yellow potion. What am I picking up? What did I just pick up? Fables of Faraway Land. Okay. Can I get... There we go. Okay, there's my green potion. I happen to be the world's most Merlin, you know you can help just at least a little bit. <laughs> um... Shoot. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, we're eating these. And this. And this. <laughs> so yeah, great vibes all around. That's awesome, though. There we go. Yellow potion. And green potion. Where's the purple one? There it is. Sweet. I don't want to pick up my extra alien or books, because I just like how they just sit around and sparkle. I listen to all kinds of music, so my playlist. I like... <laughs> people find me crazy. But I don't have, like, a strong interest in listening to music. But when I was younger, I used to, um, I used to listen to a lot of rock. Because my father used to listen to a lot of rock when I was growing up. So I like, there's like, and I like, I don't know if you would call it country, but there's a song called Cats in the Cradle. It's an old song, too. Um, I love Queen. Queen is my favorite band, for sure. Oh my gosh, I love Queen. I'll eat them up. And you let's... should be proud. You I think that's mainly good. it. There's like some songs like Heartbreakers, a really good song, and um, Say It Ain't So. I think it's also, I think the song's title. There's really old rock band game songs, <laughs> I guess, because <laughs> I used to play a lot of rock band. Uh, while Jack is here, can I actually give him my s extra goodies so then I can get that bonus? <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna give you the yellow daisy. Present just like Christmas. Uh, let's give you this. Now you have a new drummer friend. Oh, thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. How kind of you to think of me. Okay, stop. Shut up. I think drums are so cool. I honestly think drums. Like I, I say I want to play like the piano or the violin, but my favorite part of songs are like a good beat especially like newer songs when it comes to like a lot of like rap songs or whatever if it doesn't really have like a solid beat i'm not into it and i think it's all based on like the drums like i feel like drums definitely carry carry a song drums and lead definitely do i got the new backpack actually i saw someone like make a really freaking cute outfit with this backpack i kind of want to do that real quick um, I think I saw it while they, I was voting. They were just, like, wearing a white and black outfit. Well, of course, I appreciate you so much more than you ever realized. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Let's do that and that. And I forgot what top they had. They had some sort of white top. I swear they did. Um, let's... I mean, that top can work. I wish we had like a solid white. Oh, they wore this top. That's what it was. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and I thought this outfit, when I saw it while voting, I thought that was freaking adorable. So I'm gonna definitely wear a necklace. We're gonna do a choker. I kinda have it. I have a new flower choker I'm wearing today. Freaking super cute. Um, let's see. And we're gonna do. Little booties! Or heels. No, booties. We're working right now. We're a working lady. Alright, that's fine. New outfit. Yay! Okay. So, let's read these potions. <laughs> Who knows? I could be your favorite person to talk to on stream. Who knows? When the time comes, we can see. I have a lot of nice people in here, and I'm just so appreciative of each and every one of them. I try my best to remember the details of all of them. And sometimes I get confused. But it's honestly so nice to have you guys come around and talk. Day's Leaf Potion. This potion make this potion's aura makes forgotten memories spring forward. This potion's aura make you feel like your skin is growing rough and hard. 
callus potion evening bark this potion makes your eyelids droop okay sleepy this potion or it tickles your nose okay so it's definitely the day's leaf potion well it's okay if you forget about me at some point no never that'd be too mean my heart would break if like you ever appear again and it's just like <gasps> i feel like you're familiar and then i don't remember no way i would be first off mortified <laughs> what uh, what's this? Something happened to the giant nightthorn. Is the potion working? It is. The nightthorn is shrinking. Why can't we get a cutscene of a shrinking nightthorn? Look, it's left a nightthorn sprout, Vanessa. Would you mind handing it to me? How about- No! How about I keep it? It's mine now. You don't need it. That would be sad and heartbreaking for sure. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I promise I'll remember. <laughs> I stream often, so I promise I'll remember. Alright. Hmm. How curious. A tiny nightthorn plant. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, the thing's a menace. I'm not sure about that. <sighs> it appears to be completely devoid of dark <laughs> magic. This requires further study. I'll keep this in the lab for now. Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> well, I have to continue my investigation, but I promise I'll come to you first thing. Uh, first thing, should anything get out of yeah. hand? And of course, we still have Merlin's potion, should something go wrong. <laughs> Why, this might be just what I need to uncover the secret of magic <laughs> here. Thank you, Vanessa, for both your support of my scientific inquiries and your help in dealing with that little situation. Happy to help, just be more careful in the future, okay? Maybe a little more theory and a, less, a, little, and a little less practice. Yeah, I agree. That's certainly something to consider. <laughs> okay. Playing well, yeah, stream behind the scenes with the band that will be plan the plan going forward. Oh, I hope that works out for you. That sounds actually really interesting. I could see a lot of people uh, getting into that and watching that. Hi. Uh, I don't. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to Jack. <laughs> what level? Oh, seven. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it'll be easier to le level him up. I think. I'll level him up. Try to get this level 7 quest done and then we'll switch games to something that the wheel will give us hopefully I hate I hate this so much it's so painful but yeah behind the scenes would be really really cool okay almost there almost there I should have done this so long ago. Oh man, and then I'm gonna have to do it for Mike and Sully. I think we're only getting Mike and Sully. I don't think we're getting Boo. Cause even then, Gameloft making three characters for an update? Mm -mm. I doubt, I doubt they're making three characters. I think we're just gonna get Sully and Boo. Which are not Sully and Boo, Sully and Mike, which I'm happy for in the end anyways. A present for me, wonderful, cool. What did I get? A sticker! Yay! Thank you for the sticker! <laughs> Almost there. Hopefully this 20- If this 29 is not enough, I'm not going to get more. We're gonna just switch. Hopefully this 29 is enough. It should be, looking like it. Don't mind me, Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel's just thinking about that, like, huh? I'm so impatient for this. I don't like. I already have the materials to do this, but I just don't have the patience for it. I'm about to turn on a freaking stream. Stream rewards are happening. I wonder who's gonna win. All I I don't really know much about um who's in it. I know there's like one that's like a VTuber girl because I saw the before I started streaming. I saw her interview and she's literally on an iPad because she's a VTuber, so she can't be there physically. Um, I know that she's on the thing. I know that Queso's not- or Queso's on it. I don't- Is Kai Sinet on it? And I know Jinxie's on it. But I don't know about really much else. I don't think- I don't remember. I remember people were going off about, um, Aiden Ross and I Show Speed not being on the streamer awards. Which honestly, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it should be much of a bother. They made a- 
butt ton of money anyways. So I don't think it bothers them if they're on the streamy awards or not. Uh, okay, we're almost there. Maybe like a two more, three more? One more. One more for sure. One more. There we go. Yay! You've what is this unlocking for us, by the way? <gasps> 1k. Aw, I was freaking- I thought it was gonna be the tree. Okay, what do you want, Jack? Oh. Vanessa, you're just in time. I've made a fantastic discovery. Why? This is almost- this almost rivals when I first paired orange with black. <laughs> Let's hear it. There's something missing from the heart of Dreamlight Valley. How ominous. What is it? A holiday. Consider this. There's a clear connection between the holiday forest and Dreamlight Valley. But there's no holiday. It's what's been missing all along. That makes sense. The evidence all points to the same direction. I've dubbed the missing holiday Dreamlight Day and went to bring it to life. Or, and I want to bring it to life. Would you care to help me? Sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get going. What do you need? Yeah. I need you to pull some of the villagers, ask them about their favorite holidays, and what those holidays mean to them. <laughs> there are so many different people here that it stands to reason Dreamlight Day will be the sum <laughs> of those parts. I would suggest you talk to Vanellope, Scar, Olaf, and Minnie. Ugh, there's so many people. Hopefully they're awake for a cross-representative sample. Sure, on my way. <laughs> they should be awake if it's a... Uh... If it's a quest, right? Hopefully. I am... This is gonna be a waste of time, though, if it's the case. Alright, let's check to see if everyone's awake first. Okay. Uh, Scar's awake. What is they? Vanellope? Olaf? Minnie? Minnie's awake. Okay, they're all awake. So I got... I guess I'll do it. Hey, Scar. Man, your place is dirty. Just who I was Back to bother to me again, to. aren't we? Oh, goody. I'll be quick, Scar. I just prom I promise. Just have a few little questions for you. <laughs> How kind. You only wish to disrupt my day momentarily. <laughs> Go ahead. Ask your questions. I'll endeavor to stay awake. Um, <laughs> I'll be out of your fur soon enough. Hold on. I just thought of another dozen questions. Okay. Okay, calm down. I'll be out of your fur soon enough. Not soon enough for me. Get to it, Vanessa. Just wanted to know, what's your favorite holiday and why? Um, holiday? Is that one of those human things you all are so fond of? Well, humans like the them, but no reason it has to be limited to us. A holiday is sort of a ritual that we do to mark something uh, important. <laughs> hmm, that does sound like it might have merit. I'm reminded of when the kingdom subjects gather at Pride Rock to bear witness to the new lion prince or princess. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Having subjects gather and pay tribute to one's majesty is quite satisfying. Great, I'll pass that along to Jack Skellington. The walking skeleton is behind this? Perhaps I'll put aside my plans and go gnaw on those old bones for now. Um, okay, Olaf. Can they all, like, wander over to me? They don't really want to talk. I guess I'll teleport to them. That'll be easier to do. Uh, Olaf. Oh, good, you're here. Hi, Olaf. Can I ask you some mm. questions? Of course, Vanessa. I love answering questions. Jack Skellington and I are trying to come up with a new holiday of Dreamlight Valley, and we wanted to ask you your favorite holiday and why. <sighs> well, holidays are too special to choose just one, but I definitely have a favorite holiday activity. I'm sure, that works. What is it? <laughs> Giving presents! All year long I collect trivia about my friends, what they like, what they need, and all the things they don't do for themselves. Then I come up with a perfect present for them. Olaf, you're too sweet! That's what I try to do. I try my best with that and then I end up like flubbing it so hard. <laughs> you know, that doesn't surprise me at all. I just love the looks on their faces when they unwrap something I've given them. It's like the best warm hug ever. Perfect, thanks. Okay, oh. Vanellope is right around the corner. Vanellope! Does she even have a favorite holiday? She's a video game character. No. Hooli-hoo! Hooli Over here! Okay. Maybe not looking question in <laughs> holiday. Sure, you just did. Nice one. Eh, you've had better zingers. <laughs> hey, listen, at least I have zingers. Jumbo. 
Or should I call you? Let me plan my joke two weeks in advance, Bo. <laughs> I'm trying to help Jack Skeleton with something. What's your favorite holiday? Mm. Holiday? Oh, I know those from the internet. Mm. Holidays are when your game has a multi-week long event. <laughs> new mini games and sometimes new kind of currency, right? Oh my gosh, I love her. Kinda. Sugar Rush was too old to be connected to the internet, and Slaughter Race hasn't had any that I could think of, so I can say I can't say I've experienced one. But they sound fun. I love the idea of special power-ups that give you new exciting powers. What is that gonna? How is that gonna help? Fan mini, 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 mini. You freaking ran. Doing, girl? Oh, good. You're here. Uh, a little pole. I'm taking a bunch of oh. holiday. Come on, holiday. Oh. Mm. Well, I adore different things about all of the holidays, but if I had to say the one that's most fun, it would be oh. Halloween. I just love dressing up and being scared. <laughs> Minnie, we have two different. I mean, I like half of those things. Uh, that's kind of surprising, to be honest. Oh. Really? Why? I love experimenting with fashion, though I do like being fun scared, not real scared. Oh. When I was trapped in the here and there, that was really scary and not fun at all. What do you like about fun scared? It's so exciting. It's like marvelous surprise. And when it's over, you remember that you're safe and surrounded by your friends. <laughs> That's what I need to remind myself whenever I'm playing a scary game. I'm safe. I'm surrounded by my cat. <laughs> oh, Minnie. That's really sweet. Jack Skellington will be happy to hear it. Talk to you oh. later. Glad I can help. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. The poll is over. So... Jackal boy. What materials are you gonna force me to bring you? Because I know that you're gonna force me. Uh, here you are. Gosh, at least you're so noticeable. Uh. I'm Vanessa. Are you able to find out everyone's thoughts on holidays? Yep. Penelope seems really intrigued by the idea of holiday holiday themed power ups, and Scar really likes the idea of a holiday where subjects pay tribute to him. Mm, yes, I have some deals already. Olaf loves collecting trivia about his friends so he can give them the perfect gifts. And Minnie, surprisingly, loves Halloween. Uh -huh. She does? Isn't she marvelous? <laughs> I thought you liked that. Minnie says she loves a good fun mm. fright. Excellent. Well then, I know just what to do for her. Oh, what are you planning? Uh. It's a surprise, both for her and you. Can huh? I get a hint? <laughs> mm. <laughs> All I'll tell you is, people say that they... That you eat with your eyes first, but that won't be true here. So we're gonna be making food. How mysterious. What about the others? <laughs> well, I'll need your help for them. I can't. Oh, what do you need? Mm -hmm. What do you need for Penelope? I want you to give her a special token of holiday game time uh -huh. fun. Could you make a brightly colored candy skull? You'll need sugar cane, vanilla, dreamlight fruit. Okay. Alright, what do I need <laughs> for Scar? Perfect idea. Well, I need some fresh vegetables. Could you grow zucchini? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Hi, beast! Alright. Mm -hmm. What else you need for Olaf? Fiber. Oh. Alright, that was a big list. Are you kidding me? That is huge. Oh, so that's where these quests come in. I get it now. How do I get to these? Oh. Do I have to actually grow and harvest these? I do. Okay. Well, that proves that I... <laughs> that proves that this is going to be an off-stream activity. Because ain't no way I'm going to sit here and do all that. At least I got some stuff done with Rapunzel. Whew. Okay. So, I guess I'll just do that probably tomorrow. Since I'm not streaming tomorrow. Um. Dang. Okay. So, let's see. I have a good... Let's see what kind of game I can pull out here. Um, oh, my wheel's working. Yay. I always love when the wheel works. So, so far, we've been... Our, oh, it clears the list. Okay. So, I guess every time I, like, close out OBS, it just clears out the list. Not bad. Uh, What's it going to be? Gosh, no way! <laughs> I literally put this in here as a freaking meme. Like, just to see the perchance of how, when it would happen. And no way it happens now. 
desktop goose isn't even a game. <laughs> I put it in here just to see, like, every now and then, if, whenever I do a game selection, if I would have him here to bother me. <laughs> let me, um, let me turn him on. He's over here. It's a stupid little goose. Oh, this is gonna be so dumb. He's gonna bother me when I play whatever game I gotta play. Okay, uh... <laughs> there he is! <laughs> All right, looks like he'll be here with us for the time being. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's actually, let's actually get something going. Oh. After party. Hmm, do I want to do after party? I don't really think we have time for after party, if I'm going to be honest. Um, cause after party is, let me see, I, I want to see how long after party is, cause I think it's like a series thing. Let's see. How long is after party? I'm going to go off of reviews. 14 hours, 11 hours, 6 hours. Yeah, this is not some sort of, like, I'm not going to be on for much longer and I'm not planning to stay up much longer. So, but after party is something I do want to do. Cause problems on purpose. Okay, thanks buddy. <laughs> No, no, let me just spin my wheel. All right. Eh. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Give me something. Give me something that's something I can do. Ooh. Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. Ooh, this one might actually be fun. I don't know how long this one is either. I'm trying, like I said, I'm not trying to do anything too long. I think this is it. It's a... Uh... Should it be too long? Mm, if I look at a video, it should tell me, like, how long it is, right? God, love your Kruger is so hot. How long is this? Warning. An hour. Good. Mm. One last spin. One last spin. If it's worse, then I'll do Dr. Albert Kruger. Witchwood. We did Witchwood yesterday. Okay. Well, looks like I'm staying on here for a little bit longer. We're going to do Dr. Albert Kruger. And I guess we're going to have little Ducky with us. Okay. Um, is he after my mouse? He is. Bro, leave me alone. Alright, launch game. <laughs> I find it so funny that he's gonna be here with us. Hopefully he doesn't like actually like mess us up too much. It's more like a visual novel if I remember right this game. So it shouldn't really like be that invasive. Or he shouldn't be that invasive. Hour and 13 minutes. Um, it's taking a hot minute to run. How long is this one? Oh, are you oh this one's 24 It'll minutes. To you forever. <laughs> Wait, 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 okay, let me close that out at least. Is that this? Welcome back to my No, <laughs> the video is still playing. Wait! My name is Greatness. I need to turn and it today off. Today, we're playing I need therapy. There we go. I love her. Beautiful. She's actually really pretty. Holy cow. Um, the cool jump scare. Great. <laughs> A little spoiler. I'm sorry. Alright, which in which language would you like to, for me to speak? English! Are you sure you want me to speak this language? Yes! Warning, as required by these two law, we must inform you that this therapy may contain aspects that certain patients may- I saw jump scares! <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully the game doesn't sound too loud. A little bit just in case all right hopefully i'm like at negative 30 it's at negative 40 that should be fine all right play also i realize goose is not here with us l e e taylor lee dr kruger is waiting for you at room 1015 huh wait a second is this us that stupid little goose. Oh, there he is. 
<laughs> Where the hell? Wait, <laughs> no, my mouse! <laughs> my mouse, please! Okay, hold on. I gotta turn this guy off. Because I love this little goose, but I think he's gotta go. Let me. If he's not gonna be seen, I can't have him because he's not gonna. He's not gonna be fun. Love you, goosey. Okay, there we go. Where? Where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Incorporations. Uh, what is this? What was this game? I'll put games in demos. And for YouTube, I gotta switch that up too. My bad. I know I take so much time. I suck. Um, I think it's here. Let's change it to. What was this game called? Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. Let's see if that even is on YouTube. With... Oh, that's therapy. <laughs> therapy with Dr. Albert. No, it's not here. Okay. Well, there we go. Nothing, I guess. Okay. We're back. Welcome to Kruger Health and Solutions Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in G2 district, delivering more than 1 million patient visits each year. Dang. I'm Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I'm not sick. And what the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like such a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I am a professional. And I have a PhD in marine biology. <laughs> Do I look like a dolphin to you? Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today, and what are your symptoms? Huh? I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? Do you enjoy math, Taylor? Not particularly. Perfect! Then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you, you'll need to choose the correct answer. From the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? Whatever. Alright, let's get started. Nine, what was that? Nine divided by three? Three? I can't believe it. Nicely done. Seven divided by one equals seven. Magnificent. This is, I don't know, this is a bit eerie feeling. It's like uncanny. Excellent job. Okay, I can't believe it. Nicely done. What? You're just giving like some basic responses. Tres bien, tres bien. <laughs> Is anything changing in the background? I'm so de I'm so like worried. Why do you keep giving me math problems? Okay. It's making me so nervous. Oh. What was that? Was that like a bloody card? What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. That was most that most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. Okay. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. What are you trying to say, doctor? Why don't we take a little short break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. Uh, much better. Why is it so loud? Why? That's too loud for me, even. I gotta lower. I mean, so how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything's alright? Eh, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah, sweet! Are you from G2? Yeah, I've been living here my whole life. What about you? You're from around here as well? Yes. 
I was born in G2. However, I did not attend college here. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh, aren't you? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. Okay. Is what's going on with his eye? Is he good? What is this? Alright. Break's over. Let's move on to the next session of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. In this section, we're gonna play a game. A very classic one. It's called the Shell Game. Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? No, not really. It is more commonly known as Cups and Bowls. <laughs> oh, that! Suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. Whoa. Why does his head love the enthusiasm? So you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I'll be placing a... Hmm, pardon me. But it seems that we don't have any balls here. <laughs> Let me go get one. Unzips pants. Why'd the music stop? Just what in the hell is going on? I don't like you. <laughs> Did he cut a ball off? Did he call a ball, a ball off? What the fool was that? <gasps> hey! Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, the scream. What scream? This is gaslighting. Don't gaslight me! This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? I don't need that. Just get up and leave. Oh, I thought that was like some sort of eyeball that just fell off. So you can see, I have three cups over here. It is an eyeball! Oh! <laughs> it's an eyeball! And in one of them, I will be placing a ball under it. What the F, man? That's not a ball! That's a freaking eyeball! An eyeball is a ball! <laughs> Duh, an eyeball is a ball. It's got it in its name. It's a sphere. You know what? That's not what I meant. The, where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Why would you use that for cups and balls? This is messed up. Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Wow. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Put it back? <laughs> what do you mean? In the in the thing? Okay, okay. Anyways, I'll be shifting those three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, I know how the game works. Perfect, here we go. Okay, it's in this cup. What is going on? This is so weird. I just... Is anything gonna happen? Nothing really changes in these little game modes. Something is gonna go. Oh, it's getting faster. Oh, it's so getting faster. <laughs> that I was just guessing. Impressive job, Taylor. You spotted all of them. Okay. Your phone has like a little smiley face, I just realized. Did that painting change? Was this painting always this? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Why? Oh, phone call. Who's gonna be? Pardon me. Oh, he's got little fangs. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? <laughs> Is that so? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan. Am I correct? <laughs> no, William. We're not killing it. I prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Now, please excuse me. I'm with the patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. 
Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay. That's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kind of curious. Does that mean you were the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it is part of my destiny. Hi. I see. But dang, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Um, glad. I'd say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Oh, I don't want to! <laughs> uh, sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yes, I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are about you. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know? I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you? I'll tell you something about me in return. Mm, that's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is an extremely important but is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine. Whatever. Excellent. However, I do have one request. You have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes until I tell you to do so? Can I trust you on that? We're, our character is crazy! Like this? <laughs> yeah. Like this? Is this how you close your eyes? Like this? Yes, perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up in your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was pretty. It was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both my parents were well-known figures in the medi medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is, I was the only child. I... I see. Should I open my eyes? No. Ah, do I? No, 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 no. He told us not to. We, like, if he's a bad guy, I don't know. We have to abide. We have to abide. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. My family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They all mean a lot to me. What was that? I guess that's very professional of you. What the hell were all these noises? Should I open my eyes? No. No, no we're not opening. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Mm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. But it's always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. Did you put on some some weird music? I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. It feels off. 
What is this weird guitar sound? Should I open my eyes? Oh, it stopped. No, we're not opening our eyes. Oh, are we gonna die? Last question. Have you ever had the urge? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it to murder someone in your life. Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into a hamburger? I don't even like burgers. Ex excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Have, have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. Hey, we're in the same boat. That's, that's not feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? No! Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eyes. Okay, nothing changed. I can't tell if anything changed. Shall we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. What is that? Apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos at the meantime? Um, okay. All right, I'll pull up my YouTube. I'll watch some. I'll watch some Snake Discovery. I'll put on some videos. No, I'll choose. Albert. Yes. Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. Kruger Corporation. Strut. It's something many of us deal with on a daily basis, yet something few seem to have mastery over. That's why we're working hard at Kruger, developing life-changing treatments and revolutionary dream therapy, allowing our patients to tackle their stress in ways the world has not seen before. So what are you waiting for? In today's increasingly difficult market, what better thing to invest in than yourself? Okay. Okay. What is this? What was this? Uh. Okay. Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was, uh, a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact, it's a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes. Resolved. Peacefully. That's, that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yes, sure. This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you any chance heard of the Rosh Hashanah test, Taylor? The Rosh Hashanah test? <laughs> Isn't that the thing where they show you the picture and ask you what you see? That's correct. The psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder and examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So for this section, I'll be showing you a series of ink blots and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. Alright, here we go. Oh, I get to choose? I see like a... Like a... Honestly, I see a... A pal from Pal World. <laughs> I don't see any of this. A butterfly? That's quite the imagination. I see a necklace for this one. Uh, none of this. None. Zero. A crab. A bunny taking a deuce. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so these. Okay, now it's obvious. A robot. face. I kind of see a face. I see a spider. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I can click on these? Oh. Oh, I can click on them? I don't want this! Why is this like this? Oh, I'm a psycho! Whoa, it changed. 
butchery, dismemberment, corpse, slaughter, psycho, bloodshed. Psycho, corpse, murder. How did I not realize this? Why am I allowed to flip these? Sir, suffer, dismemberment, death, slaughter, suffer. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Oh, did I flip the wrong ones? Well done, Taylor. Well done. So proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. Just want to say, I really enjoyed speaking to you. And I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. Um, I actually didn't, but no worries. I think it's a no worries. I clicked too fast. It was also a very interesting... It was also a very interesting session for me. Glad you enjoyed it as well. It means a lot to me. May I ask what your favorite section of the therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. So glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. How did you like the overall experience? Yay! How would you rate the therapy? Yay! Would you recommend Kruger? Yay! Done! Okay. Thanks a lot. That was big help. Before I let you go. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you? Sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? Huh? We need you for building a better future of G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. <gasps> G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. They will be grateful to you forever. <gasps> Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. Bad end. Ending one of three? How do you get the good ending? Wait, how do you get the good ending? It's incredibly rude to skip all of our conversation. I kind of want to get the good ending. Is it like the good ending? Like if I open my eyes, I really don't want to go through it all right now. If I can like skip, I'll wait until the end. And if I can skip to the, um, to the other parts, then I will. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Is that a... Is that her arm and organs? Yo, good to see that you're doing fine. So you can see, I'm very fricked. Ugh, oh, what a waste. I didn't even finish my intestines, but it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. Thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find certain type of people. So maybe get all the questions right. Be as obedient as possible. Don't question him? I don't think I ever did. Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as I do. Why don't you go ahead and find out? I thought I got all the questions. Was it because I flipped the paper? And does this put me in the beginning? Yeah, it does. Oh, all right. I, I mean, that's really freaking fun. I might have to do the other endings like in a recording or something just so I can skip by it. But I don't think I'm going to do it here. Let me set me free. Set me free. Oh my gosh. Showing all my stuff. It's fine. Eh. Yes. Oh. But that was so cool. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. What a good stream. This was a great stream. I had such a good time. I hope everyone here had a good time too. We did a lot of um, not for broadcast. Which I always find super freaking funny. We covered a little bit of Dreamlight Quest, and we got this game done. I might do the other endings. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for coming up, talking with me, lurking, uh, following, subscribing, liking, and all of that stuff. I appreciate it with all my heart. Trust me. I'm literally, there's no better night I could ask for. Every night, whenever I get to spend with you guys, is such a blessing. 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for chilling out. And um, yeah, I will see you guys all on Monday. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your night or day. God bless y'all.